United stand. Manchester United versus Arsenal. The big one. If you're here for the match reaction, the link is in the video description. If you're here live, who knows what is about to happen tonight. I've got to say, from a personal point of view, it's probably one of the most weird games I've ever sat down to watch. Not just for the United stand, but probably in my lifetime, really. A really weird game for Manchester United tonight. Of course, uh, the, the badge... The love for the club takes over and, and there is that uh, demand and hope that we are going to win this game of football. Um, away from that, there is the, you know, Jose Mourinho should not be Manchester United manager, in my opinion. Not You make your own mind up, but in my opinion, Jose Mourinho shouldn't even be manager of Manchester United now. This is not really about him. Whatever he does tonight, is he going to turn us into a, you know, an entertaining side? No, he's not. You know, he might get a result for us tonight. Doubtful, some would say, but he might. But he's still got to go. He shouldn't even be here now. He's overstayed his welcome. So that is an irrelevance. What I would say is, and I've thought about it long and hard, and I don't judge fans unless they say something ridiculous like, you know, um, I'd rather the club get relegated uh, than Mourinho gets uh, stay at the club. I think that's just too far. But um, tonight, I don't want to see a draw. I don't want to see a draw tonight. I don't know whether I'd go as far as to say I'd rather lose than draw. But if we lose then surely the pressure on Mourinho to go will just be huge because we will be 11 points off fourth place, we will be nearly 20 points off Man City um, and we will be Man City. Um, so he'd have to go, I think. But I don't think the club would get rid of him, but I, I think surely he would have to go. If we win, we well, we win. Um, and, and, and obviously he would stay based on that. But if we draw, we're still going to be double figures off top four. Um, we're still going to be in a lot of trouble. So uh, for me, I, I do not want a draw in this game. I do not want a draw. I, I want to win. I don't want a loss, but I just don't want a draw. And I, to be honest with you, let's be on. Let's be blunt. Let's be honest. It, it's a must-win game. It is a, a must-win game, and uh, therefore we we must win it. Hence the must-win game thing. No, but we must win. We must win this game of football. Um, yes, simple as that. Um, there may well be a bit of noise in the background. Sorry, I can turn that off. Um, <clears throat> it's more for when the game's on to give it a little bit of atmosphere um, why don't you like the background noise it's not a spam it's a crowd noise in the background for the match don't blame me blame Drawty it's meant to be for when the match is on but it wasn't my idea it was his so we got some sample of a crowd noise for us to have on so we'll put it to the vote do you want it on when the game's on or not. It shouldn't have been on at the start, so I apologise for that. Um, team sheet is about to come out. There is rumours that Paul Pogba will be on the bench. Um, don't know what to say, said Zed Jamie. Uh, Manchester United starting lineup looks like being De Gea, Valencia, Matic, McTominay, Rojo, Shaw, Fellaini, Herrera, Lingard, Lukaku, Rashford. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to... Just, just going to... Just going to say, fuck off Mourinho. <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, do you want to, do you want to go to town on a, on a, on a, on a predicted, you know, on a starting lineup? Um, look, if he's dropped Pogba and he's dropped Martial, all it does is say to me, well, you know, Martial wasn't we rested at the weekend, was he? On his fucking birthday as well, if that's true. I'm sorry to swear, but he's not, that's not true. He is starting. Martial is starting. Lukaku's been dropped. Pogba's been dropped. Smalling, Bay, Rojo, Delot, no, Luke Shaw. Okay, so that, that leaked team is uh, ridiculous. Um, Luke Shaw's obviously not fit. Uh, Lukaku is on the bench. And... McTominay's on the bench, Valencia's on the bench, Fellaini's on the bench. So it's a it's a decent team. Um, oh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. So Pogba's on the bench. Pogba's on the bench. So a little bit of a uh, little bit of um, uh, clarity needed there. The team is not as we'd initially thought. McTominay is not starting. That was an email I'd had from somebody that was obviously a leaked team that was a bit of a blag. Um, so we can correct that straight away and delete the tweet that's gone out. Apologies for that. Uh, Martial does start, which I thought would have been absolutely stunning if he didn't. Um, and 
I'm just trying to get my head together here. Sorry, this is this is the wonders of live TV. I'm trying to get my head around whether I'm happy with this team or I want to cry with it. So, I've got Ross joining me, which will always help. Uh, first time ever, Ross. It was always going to happen on a live show. It's just, unfortunately, it's happened on a big show. Uh, somebody sent me the 11, and it's the wrong one. So I was telling Marie, I was telling Reno to f off uh, because um, McTominay and Matic were playing at the back. But um, can you hear me, mate? Yeah, I've got you, mate. Um, yeah. So confirmed team is De Gea, Delot, Bay, Smalling, Rojo, Darmian, which is obviously because Luke Shaw's injured. We can't really moan about that. Herrera, Matic, Lingard, Rashford, Martial. So there's a lot of good elements to that team, to be honest, I think. Obviously no Pogba, though, which I've got to be honest, I would play Pogba, but Mourinho, I'll stick up for him here and say he had to drop Pogba. You cannot call him a virus, then pick him when you've got other options. So I don't agree with Pogba being dropped, but I agree that Mourinho had to drop him. But what are your thoughts on the team? I'm the other way, mate. I was disgusted when I read that team lineup. Um, he said he wants warriors on the pitch. He said he wants people that are going to fight for the badge. Well, what? I find it really hard to swear here because I'm so upset with it. He what is he like. doing? What is he doing playing Matic? What is he doing? Like, yeah, drop Pogba. Great. Don't play that. Waste of space. Like, and for me now, this is for the first time ever. I think this has gone beyond Van Hal because I always used to, even in the Van Hal days, think we were going to win matches. Foolishly and stupidly, I have no faith in United winning today. I, honest to God, would like put my car on Arsenal smashing us today. That team, yeah, he's gone five at the back. Great. There's no, there's no transition from defence to attack in this team. There's no one can hold the ball up. We're going to get absolutely steamrolled by them. And I watched Arsenal the other week. They look brilliant. Um, it's just going to be horrible to watch, to be honest. I've got to be honest, I'm going to go the other way, which is you're normally Mr. Positive and I'm normally very resigned. But to be honest with you, uh, and I'm just altering the team, don't worry, because obviously we predict it and we're live when it comes in. So I am just changing it now. But when I look at that team, I actually, look, I totally and utterly agree with everybody saying it's a disgrace that Pogba's been dropped. Some people are happy about it. Some people are not. Um, as I said, I would never drop Paul Pogba. And obviously, I agree with Ross. How does Nemanja Matic... I mean, I think it's a, one of the biggest contradictions in football for me is that Mourinho is constantly going in on Paul Pogba when Matic has been worse than he has for a long, long time. So there's a big contradiction there. But also, I've got to say that, you know, in many ways, if we do lose, Mourinho's built, uh, digging his own grave because, you, you know, dropping Paul Pogba in a game like this is ridiculous. But he had to drop him because he picked... You know, he, he, he did this. He did this by um, by going with, um, by, by letting it, because in his press conference yesterday, he was asked, did he call Paul Pogba a disease or a, or a virus? And he, he refused. He refused to say anything about it. So um, I, 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 I agree with that. The rest of the team, I'm quite excited by Lingard, Matic and Rashford, Ross. I've got to be honest. I think they are, you know, I agree that Lukaku should be dropped. But I don't, I'm not, the thing is, I'm never sure whether he's been dropped or whether it's actually a case of um, he's uh, carrying a knock because Luke Shaw's missed out. Yeah, the, the front three picks itself to a point. I think the issue is just the transition between the two, going too defensive. Um, like say, playing Matic, which I think is terrible. Look, I think what he's trying to do is use Pogba as a scapegoat um, mm. and he's doing well with that but there's only one virus at United at the minute and it's the bloke in charge. Um, I was reading something today. There's a lot of um, crap surrounding Jose at the minute and you've got to pick what you think's true. The Real Madrid link wouldn't surprise me, to be honest, because um, it, is, it is acting strange, Jose. I think he's acting like he wants to go. He's very relaxed um, as well, isn't he? It's not like he, he so doesn't relaxed. feel pressure, uh, under pressure. But I also believe what I'm reading at the board of absolutely no plans to sack him. And it wouldn't surprise me tonight, if we, even if we lost 4-0, our board wouldn't sack Jose. And then that shows you where the problem is. Uh, it's, it's, it's rotten from the core at United at the minute. And it's so, it's so heartbreaking to watch these clubs that I hate, shit clubs that run really well. They've got a really good back backing to them, and Arsenal's one of them, to be honest. And it's it's horrible to watch. And uh, you look at the new signings, you look at the difference, the impact this manager's made in six months, and it's unbelievable. 
it's Joe's and wants to shut his whining up because it's just full of naff excuses I'm not interested to listen to to be honest um, it just yeah and this team are not going to put a result in tonight Bay and Rowe at the back yeah we've been calling for it all season Bay definitely I know you have you're chucking him in a game like this you're setting him up to fail you're setting Bay up to fail today and Rojo. Rojo's going to be so off the pace it's a joke and I really fear for them. And the bet today is for one of them two to give away a penalty because you can bet your bottom dollar on it. Um, I'm just trying to get the sort of uh, the right team lined up here for everybody as well. Uh, I'll sort that in a moment because I want to talk about a few other things. But the thing about tonight is as well is that, you know, I think we can win. Um, I think we can win. It's not logically I don't think we can win, but but I do think we can win for the simple reason that uh, United uh, go into this game in very much uh, with history on their side, I suppose, because we've got this uh, situation at United where um, the... the um, we tend to beat Arsenal at home, is what I'm trying to say. So, do you think that? Um, do you think that that's going to count for something? I mean, I, the, what I'm trying to say in a, in, a, in a very convoluted way is that if we do win tonight, again, I don't. I said it when I went live. For me, even if we do win tonight, Mourinho shouldn't be manager of Manchester United because we've we, we we're. Um, that is that's gone for me. That that's gone. That opportunity it, it, it is gone, and um, I, I just do not think that he should be manager of Manchester United anymore. No, absolutely not. Um, you fear for what he does to good players. He destroys them. Um, he's done it with a lot of United players. He's done it with former players that he's had uh, in other clubs. Uh, and why Real Madrid are looking at him, I do not know. But good riddance, if you ask me. Um, pay the settlement fee, get rid of him. Um, I think Champions League's over for us, and the, the quicker Woodward realises that, the better. Are we going to attract big players in January? No, we're not, especially under Jose. Um, yeah, it needs to change quickly. There is there is an urgency here. I think you can turn the season round, but you need to replace him. And he, it, does, it's, it, it doesn't take a genius to realise that what Jose's done at United is irreversible. He cannot... He absolutely cannot turn this around. I think it's gone way beyond that. And it just needs removing. You remove the problem at the source. And it's him. And it's Woodward. but And it's the, the owners. It's just it's so depressing to, to watch. And I will watch it tonight. But it'll be the weirdest United game I've watched. Because I'm, I just have a overriding feeling that we will lose this one. Yeah, it's, and also, even if we were win, winning tonight. Let's just talk about Pogba for a moment for everybody at, how, at home. If we were to win tonight, let's not be on. Let's not joke about this. You, you know, Paul Pogba's not going to be sold in January because no one's going to pay the money. Paul Pogba is our most expensive player ever. He's still, you know, there's still an element of um, short-termism about what we're doing tonight. Again, it's a, you know, it's a mass change of the squad as well. You know, you've got Rojo and Bay playing. They've hardly played all season. Um, Delot comes in, which it, which stinks of desperation as well. There, there, there is so much again that is sort of. Um, the odd about that team that it's almost like he's just chucking every idea he can to try and rescue himself and I think there will be a lot of people who are who are positive with that United team tonight um you know why not it's you know there are, there is an element of positivity to it but um I also just feel that um there, there's a, there is a, a real element of short-termism as well that this is you know this this is probably not going to work and if even if it does work it doesn't solve the Paul Pogba issue. He's been short-termism ever since he joined. The match it signed him was short-termism. And fair play to you, Mark. You called that and everyone give you hell for it. But what yeah, a yeah. shambles he's turned out to be. I put a poll out on Twitter. Like, I haven't got many followers, so it doesn't really make much difference. But I just simply asked the question that if Pogba is successful in getting Jose Mourinho sacked, what's our thoughts on him? Is he a hero or is he still a you know an arsehole? <laughs> not people voted a hero and at the minute if Paul Pogba pulls this off and gets Jose to sack somehow I mean I think he, he enters into my heart even more to be honest because they're, they're, I know you have to play for your club you get paid a lot of money you have to you know you have to give it your all but it comes to a point if someone's telling you to do consistently the wrong things and you're getting hammered for it by the fans by the press because your manager is telling you to do a certain type of thing there has to become a point where as a human being and as a man, you stand up and go, no, that, that's wrong. 
you're not doing the right things here. And I think it takes a bigger man to turn around and say that. And what United have lacked in the past is, is players that do that. And I'm not saying that that's what he's done. You know, I don't know the true story of it. But if he has turned around to Jose and gone, do you know what, you're clueless, you don't know what you're doing. I say fair play to the bloke because there's only so much you can take. And he has kept quiet. His performances haven't been great, I'll grant him that. But he's always he's always performed, he's always given it the 90 minutes regardless. So uh, I'm starting to see another story on this and I'm starting to take Pogba's side, which I never thought I would. Yeah, it's, it's, it is interesting because I think at the end of the day, you have a situation at Manchester United at the moment where... Um, uh, the, the the story at the weekend, to be honest, was that Mourinho had called him a virus and said that he was the the negativity that was was holding the team back. So you know the team sort of has to uh, respond to that, don't they? And um, hopefully they they will because I, I do want to win tonight. But Pogba, on the other hand, apparently said, "But it's your system that restricts me. I get the ball, I look around, and there's, there's this, the team is just so restricted. So, uh, you know, if there's an element of truth in that, then, yeah, Pogba was terrible on Saturday. I, I would admit that. But I also would, would say as well that he, he is only saying what every United um, fan is saying, that, you know, the, 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 the team is just not good enough. I mean, um, a very good point that's been made there. Where, w, w, where the fuck is Fred? I'll just say it. You know, where, where is Fred? Um, the, the line-up to my left... Uh, that side, sorry, my right, is, um, I think we lost you for a moment there, Ross. Yeah, my phone decided to randomly turn off, which is helpful. It's all right. I was just I was just going through the team again for people, so I have corrected it to my right. Obviously, Eric Bay is not playing centre defensive midfield. I'm just live and cannot be asked to spend five minutes moving all those players around into the right formation. It will be a 3-5-2 with Bay dropping in between Smalling and Rojo. You'll have Matic and Herrera, and then I think Lingard will actually play as a midfield three with Rashford and Martial up front. Um, the bench, though, of interest, if you are interested in Fred or Pereira, don't dream. It's uh, Romero, Valencia, Fellaini, Mata, McTominay, Pogba, Lukaku, a bit of a shit bench, I would say. I mean, where's the pace on that bench? We've got absolutely none. Um, but Fred, not part of it again, um, which is which is which is quite funny because it was going doing the rounds today, Ross. That um, you know it was the old sympathy Mourinho stuff going round today. It's not Jose's fault. It's the board. It's the board's fault. You know, Joe. They only bought Fred and Sanchez to to annoy Man City. Yeah, I suppose Jose Mourinho just was not consulted on it. I mean, as I said on Twitter today. There's nobody, I think we even said it at the weekend, there is nobody above Jose Marino who knows anything about football. Fred, you know, Ed Woodward did not sit there last season, last summer, and go, I'm going to sign Fred from Shaq to the Next. He would think Shaq to the Next is an act from X Factor. He wouldn't have a bloody clue who they are. We signed Fred because Mourinho wanted Fred. Now, maybe Mourinho wanted to get one over Pep. Mourinho's got years and years of form of nicking players that other club wants. And I do agree that. I, I don't know what you think, Ross. I do agree that we probably did get Sanchez and Fred to piss Pep off. But I guarantee you Mourinho was behind it because he did it with Willian. He did it with Willian. He was going to Spurs. Chelsea bumped in. He did it with Salah, who was going to Liverpool, I think, before he went to Chelsea. Um, and he's done it with other players as well. He's always done that. So, you know, again, always this is what annoys me about match days when the Mourinho inners start trying to chuck absolute crap arguments about why we should back Mourinho like there's some sinister plan above Mourinho about what what's going to happen I mean if they what you know if let's be honest if Ed Woodward had signed Fred we'd probably see Fred playing a lot more because he'd be like playing that's not the case Mourinho signed him I don't know what your thoughts are but my I, I found that hilarious today yeah it is I mean it's pathetic but I think um 85 90 percent of us if we picked the strongest 11 there's three midfielders there that aren't playing. Um, two of them are nowhere to be seen, Pereira and Fred. We've just accepted that as fans, to be honest. I know we haven't, but we have. You know, We don't really talk about it anymore. Any One of the really exciting young prospects comes through our youth team, goes out on loan, smashes it, comes back to United. What's Jose done to him? He just killed him. You know, He's a career killer. Uh, we said it when we signed him. I, I had sort of rose-tinted glasses and thought that we were going to get this different Jose that embraces the youth. The only youth he's embraced is Rashford. Uh, and that's because he had to, to be honest. Because if he, if he, you know, if he got rid of Rashford at the start, I think it would have been curtains a lot earlier. 
kind of kept him going, Masha, to be honest. Um, it's just pathetic. And look, the, 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 the formation today is a positive. That formation should have come out two, three months ago. Um, don't know why he just decided to use it now. Um, maybe just to give Matic even more protection than what he already needs. And that's the thing for me tonight, Mark. And um, it's it's really cutthroat. But any chance of us winning today for me is lost with Matic in the, in the pitch because their midfield are going to run rings around him. Ramsey is about 17 times the player that Matic is. I'd love Ramsey at United in place of Matic. It's just embarrassing. Uh, and I cannot see anything else but a loss with that player on the pitch because Herrera can't cover for two players. He ain't that good. He can barely cover himself at times. That's that's not being harsh. That's just reality. So um, it's just, yeah, it's just not good for me. Um, and we're going to go to Old Trafford today and we're on the back foot. We're playing a back five. We're going to sit back and hope to counter. Is that what United do? It's just disgusting. And the fans in that stadium need to stand up and be counted for because you're. I know, you know, we shouldn't condone booing, but just get your get your mouth involved and start vocalising what you actually feel, because um, there is a massive split between the wider fan base and the match-going fans, and it shouldn't be like that. We all have feelings, express them. Stop trying to aimlessly back a manager just because you feel like it's the right thing to do when the manager's crap. Yeah, I've got a super, few super chats to read because they've sort of uh, they've they've amassed since uh, since we went live because we had a few technical problems. Um, I'm just listening to Mourinho there. That's why I disappeared so I could put the subtitles on as well. Um, look, at the end of the day, um, I, I'm just absolutely ecstatic that we're playing Arsenal, a team that's in form. I would be gutted if tonight was Palace again or someone like that, somebody who. You know, yeah, we might draw to, but the chances of us losing to them is quite slim. What I expect from Arsenal tonight is a team that um, if we give them the chances we normally give teams, they'll probably be clinical. They are a team in form. Um, I've got to be honest, I, I, I just I, I want to win this game because I'm a Manchester United fan, but I, but there is a part of me, um, I'll come back to this and ask Ross in a minute. Let's just read some of these live comments first. Cameron Kurt says, we're about to get smoked. I have no confidence in this team right now. I know we're going to play negativity, negatively. Hate feeling this way going into it. Uh, Jimbo74, evening, hope you're well, get my doubts of the result tonight, will be the same old problems, Mourinho out now. Um, Dylan Walsh says, honestly, I think that lineup is decent, a lot, yes. Uh, Brandale says, our midfield is where we lose this game. Joseph Lackey, Jose has played Bay a lot, Rojo in a long time, and he puts them in a derby, he's setting them up to fail. Not technically a derby, but it is a big game. Dylan Walsh, I like that lineup. up Delot, Bay, Rojo back. Um, ben Silver, it's so frustrating, I really wanted Mourinho to do well at United more than any other manager. I keep hoping he changes things around, but the guy's actually a total prick. Uh, Ricky916, how great would it be if the board were putting the transfer budget rumours out there just to mug us all off in January when they bring Zidane in? Stephen Willox, no Fred or Pereira on the bench again, God's sakes. Ellis Horton, Pogba might act the same for the next manager, could do. Alman Sahul says, I know, it, I know, I hope we lose, then Mourinho is done. And Sheriff Kmat Fitness says, I won't be surprised if we play your formation. Jose will be like 3 4 3, might be attacking, let me let me stick to my defensive lineup. Um, yeah, I just want to say, if um, there are. Uh, I just, I want to win simply because I'm a Manchester United fan, Ross. I mean, the reality is, I sort of do get why a lot of United fans are out there today saying, I will lose just if, to get rid of Mourinho. Yeah, look, I've always been honest. And I, I, some of the stuff I say people don't like. If I knew losing today would end Jose, I'd be fucking having Arsenal top up right now. And that's honestly how I feel. The issue that I have a lot today I ain't even getting rid of the prick and he was right the bloke he is a prick um, he ain't going so I hope for a win today a loss is, is terrible and either way we've got him in charge um, I don't know the Arsenal team today Mark is Mkhitaryan playing um, I don't believe he actually is. I mean, Andrew Rossi says even if Pogba comes in and wins it, Jose will take full credit for calling him a virus and motivating him to play. Look, Mourinho takes credit for anything positive and, 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 and washes his hands of anything negative. We know that. Um, but the Arsenal lineup, let me just read that out because I know Ozil's not fit. So they've got, you know, to be fair to Arsenal, um, they're missing Xhaka, they're missing Ozil. So they've got Leno in goal, uh, Papadopoulos at uh, 
Mustafi holding Bellerin. So I think that's the same team they had on Sunday. Remember, we've had 24 hours more than them. They've got Torreira, Gwendosi, who's very, very highly thought of. Kalazanich, uh, Ramsey, Iwobi and Ibamiang. So, you know, it's not, you know, they've dropped the Lacazette and Mikatari into the bench. Um, so they're, you know, to be honest with you, I, I think Arsenal have probably gone a little bit defensive, Ross, because I, I think they should have played Mikatarian and Lacazette. I think they should have gone for us. I think they've actually um, stacked themselves up, sort of, there's a lot of defensive-minded players in there. In fact, you know, Ramsey's sort of box-to-box, -box, I suppose. Awobi and Aubameyang obviously are the attackers, but everybody else is uh, is quite defensive-minded. So, you know, they might be playing into United's hands a little bit there. Uh, yes and no. I think uh, United are so vulnerable on the counter that if we push on to them, Aubameyang's going to tear us apart. Um, why we didn't go after him, I do not know. He's like everything the Kaku should be. Mm. Uh, quality, quality player. There's quality all through that team. There's cohesion. There's there's this the eleven players that are going out there with a clear game plan. They know what they're doing. United are playing all new players again, new formation, new tactics. Just nobody has a clear clue of what they're doing. Um, yeah, all our best players are, are not playing um, for one reason or another. Um, and it's just uh, it's, a, it's a calamity if you ask me and do you know what they've got Ozil missing but they play better without him Xhaka I'd argue the same point to be honest so uh, I think you're, there's a full strength Arsenal team coming here off the back of you know best win they've had in years um, I, I do fear for us tonight I really do uh, Sam Inga says have you heard about the Lukaku verb around no uh, I haven't um And I'm sorry, I'm just uh, multitasking here. Men are not very good at that. Uh, give us your score predictions. I do want to get Ross's score predictions. It's an eight o'clock kickoff tonight, so we're about half an hour away from kickoff. Um, Matteo Seven, he says he doesn't understand the team. We're going to talk about that next. But score predictions. Um, I I think United are going to win this by one goal, either one nil or two one. Or if Arsenal win, they'll probably win by about three one. Um, United never get smashed under Mourinho. It's one thing, you know, we saw it against Man City, didn't we? We went 2-1 down and he's part of the bus to stop us getting smashed. He won't go and try and get back in a game against the team that can smash us. So I don't think we'll get smashed. I think if we go ahead, he'll defend it with his life. So I don't I don't see us winning by two or three goals either. What, what's your thoughts, Ross? My thoughts, I'm going to try and call this, is that we're going to lose 3-1, exactly like you said, but I am going to go with ascending off for United in the first half. And I think it'll be Rojo. Just have a feeling. The guy's desperate to be sent off at the best of times. <laughs> um, come, coming off the back of no football whatsoever. Um, I worry for him tonight. I really do. I mean, there's a lot of people talking about the formation. I think we should spend a bit of time talking about that. Obviously, the team to my right is not the formation. We've just had to rejig it because it's been a bit of a surprise. We thought we'd go 4-3-3. It clearly isn't, which is why Eric Bay is a CDM on that system but he, he won't be. So effectively, what we can determine, Ross, is that we've got Smalling, Behe and Rojo, who will probably play as the back three. You've then got Delo and Damian. Um, now, instantly, I would err on the, core, the, the side of defence because we were at the Palace game and Damian can play up as high as he wants. He's still a, he's still a defensive-minded fullback. So you've got three centre-backs and a defensive-minded wing-back. You've got Delo, who I think will push forward. But then, ahead of them, you've got Matic, who is a CDM, and nothing more. You've got Herrera, who seems to have lost the ability to pass forward over the last 12 months. So he, effectively, is probably a CDM, certainly not box-to-box. -box, which leaves a lot of attacking influence on... Well, Lingard, I think, will be doing a lot of chasing down as well. Um, which leaves us, basically, with only, on in my theory only two attackers, Martial Rashford and maybe Delo if he gets forward. I think I would say that we are going to be quite defensive-minded in this match at home. Yeah. Yeah, we will. And uh, like I said, the, the main issue for me is that transition. I don't think we're going to get the ball out from defence to attack um, easily. You know, Rashford and Martial, to a point, can't hold the ball up that well. Uh, they're both, both keen on losing it a lot. Um, and the centre backs can't pass it out. So this is my my fear is that when Arsenal attack, you know United won't be able to get out, and we'll just get wave after wave 
Matic, Herrera, they all, they're all hoofers. They can't, they can't control the ball and find that cutting edge pass. That's what Pogba does. Uh, and Pogba loses the ball a lot, right? Granted, his passing hasn't been that great, but he's not no want for trying. Um, it just seems that in this United team, if you try a little bit of creativity and it doesn't work, you get smashed for it. Still, I still stand by the fact that Sanchez is a great, great player playing for a shocking manager. Um, the, the, when there's a trend, you know, when there's a clear pattern that a manager is killing players and it happens consistently, player after player, there it, it does become a point where you have to start turning to the manager and go, what are you doing to these guys? Because yeah, I guarantee, the, 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 the thing I leave you on with that one, Mark, is it pressures me to think if Sanchez joined Man City, and I feel sorry for the guy, if he joined Man City, I reckon he'd be lethal in that team. And is that the player or the manager? Well, I, I'll just come back to and say that, and, and anybody's, you know, having their comments about it, I can see people talking about it. I mean, Dylan Walsh just says, would you play Pereira if you had to bench Pogba? Of course, mate. And Aris, Aris and Music says, I'm Portuguese. Unfortunately, in our culture, we love to shift the blame onto others. We can sometimes be deflective little shits like Mourinho is. Well, there you go. A little bit of culture from Orison. Thank you very much for that. I really do appreciate it because he never takes responsibility. So maybe it is a cultural thing. Um, and yes, Dylan, I mean, the amazing thing is he's dropped Pogba. And yet Fred or Pereira are not even in the squad. Uh, Lee Bellington says, uh, just got back from visiting relatives in America and missed the last three games. Home, I'm, I hope I'm a good look charm. Yeah. I hope you are, mate. I wouldn't count on it. But uh, maybe get some of those cereals. You might have brought some back from America. What are they? Lucky charms. But you're right about Sanchez. I mean, he would have had a Premier League title if he'd gone to Man City as well. But I suspect he might have gone to Manchester United for his uh, for money. Um, but you're right about Sanchez because I think you have to sit, stick up for the players. Because... None of our flair players are any good. You know, whether it's Pogba, Martial, Rashford, Lingard, Mata, Sanchez, they all they all suffer. So it has to be. Um, I mean, Daniel Bosman says Pereira leaves, I'll, I'll vomit. Again, Pereira is another, another flair player and it's just not what Jose is all about. But there is a contradiction in what he's done tonight anyway because where's Fellaini tonight? You know, where's Lukaku tonight? It's like, I can't... It's almost if we win, I don't even... I want to win because I'm a United fan. Uh but there's United fans who don't want us to win. We've been over this. But if we do win, there'll still be a massive part of me going, what's going to happen against Fulham? You know, is Lukaku and Fellaini going to be back in midfield? It's just like, I just think today's team is so... It's the quality street tin. If I hadn't ate them all, I'd have them, out, I'd have them out just for effect to throw them up in the air. I'm going to pick a team because, you know... It is the team is a. I like elements of that team, but it makes no sense. It, it it makes no sense to what he's been doing for the last three years. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and Rashford and Lingard, great points. That when they go to England duty on international break, play for a different manager, they look like world beaters. Both of them, uh, they they don't look the same under Jose. And it, I've never had it in my lifetime watching England thinking, wow. Look how much better than my club, my national team is. I mean, when I go from watching England to Man United, it's like watching the 98 France team, England, compared to United at the minute. It's, there's such a gulf. And it's Gareth Southgate. I mean, I do like the guy, but he's no tactical master. He's just got players doing simple duties well. And he's a good um, man manager, isn't he? A very good man manager of different very styles. Very good. And he's, you know, he's backed Rashford all the way from throughout the bad form. He, he's getting great stuff out of Lingard and you just you know that Jose can't extract that from a player the best he's ever extracted was Matic when he first joined which he looked like a bit of a miracle and it was a miracle when he first joined because he kept that form for two months and it disappeared that's my my worry is is that we chuck we could chuck Jose another 400 million pounds in January and he could sign Messi Ronaldo he could sign a lot is he going to make them work no what they'll do is they'll come into the team it'll start benching them there'll just be this revolving cycle Fellaini will come back in what's the point why give this man any more money exactly I totally agree um, it, it's why I said and I don't know how you feel I don't know how everybody else feels it's why I said um, before this game even started that I just feel um, I've never felt like this before as a Manchester United fan going into a game ever um, because it's Arsenal, because Arsenal is a team, you know, you don't want to lose to Arsenal because this guy's coming out, isn't he? 
you know, ah, I told you, I told you, he's coming out. So, you know, I don't want that. I don't want that. But I don't see the, I don't see the problem. If we win, it doesn't solve any problems. We're still five points behind Arsenal. We've still got a manager who shouldn't be here. But I just can't want us to lose. No, it's it's really tough. We we've got to take L's as a fan base from a lot of people at the minute, even from Bournemouth. Um, well, they're above us, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's only going to get worse before it gets better. But I, I agree with what you're saying. I've never felt like this because even in the Van Hal era, where it seemed like it was it, it was dreadful, I still backed us to win matches, and I'd always be surprised, annoyed, and bitter that we hadn't won the match. But going into it. I always I, I, I like the players I like the team and to a point I like the coach I just didn't like his managerial style I loved him as a person loved his interviews loved his flair and actually I'll trade I'll trade Jose for Van Hal in a heartbeat and that I think that statement there just shows how tragic and toxic it got under Jose because it was toxic under Van Hal as well Amar Isra says, we abandoned LVG and the kids for a cheap high with Jose. Never the right fit and we're paying for short-termism. Director of football and new manager in. Hashtag Jose out now. Look, you know what I would say is that you can't rewrite history. Um, and I, you know what? I don't agree with Gary Neville that we should have kept Moyes. He was a bad manager. He needed to go. I don't agree with Rance, who says that, you know, maybe we should have kept LVG. He needed to go. I was fed up of him as well. And Mourinho needs to go now. I don't think we should look... I don't think you should ever look back. I think we were right... We were wrong to appoint those people as managers, but we were right to sack them when we did. And Mourinho, for me, has passed his you know, sell-by date. He needs to go. Um, it's as simple as that. But um, what I would say is that um, the, 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 the situation with Manchester United is that um, we, we, it, is just, it is just very, very, very difficult to sort of understand the situation there and, and to grasp what's going on with our club in, in such a short space of time we have because I always, a couple of months ago Ross, I was saying I don't we're not the new Arsenal but I think we are I, th I think we are and, and in record time as well yeah absolutely uh, I always compare us to Liverpool as well just that the fact that we went on that amazing run and it's come to a quite a bitter end and it's going to take a while to turn it around um, I just hope that next time they go and do their Dingo Dollar Challenge that it's uh, Ed Woodward instead of Kiosk Keith when he's chucking Harry Redknapp for contracts. I'd absolutely love him at United. The only thing we can hope for is a, a Lingard goal, a Millie Rock in front of the Arsenal fans to wind them up and a 1-0 win. That is something that I could just live off. But um, Thomas Biles says, going for a draw, United holding on the whole 90 minutes. A draw, as, as we said, Ross, just before you go. I, I mean, I don't know what you think, but for me... I was saying before you came on, I don't. I win, I, we need to win anyway. If we don't win, I almost feel lose because a draw is a loss anyway. And a draw is no good to us anymore. You can't draw at Southampton, draw at Palace, draw at Arsenal. That's three points from nine. You may as well have lost two and won one. It's the same amount of points. And if you've lost two and won one, you're sacked. So for me, a draw tonight is just a smoke screen. So I'd rather lose than draw. We either win or we lose. That's that's what that's all I'm bothered about tonight. It's got to be a, a draw for me. Piss off! I don't want a draw. Yeah, you're right. A nil nil draw is, is is frustrating, but I can't help but you know deep in my heart think that that's probably what's going to happen out of tonight. Jose yeah. can pull a he can pull a draw out of anywhere. Why is the Champions League master? Because he can draw whenever he wants. He's got the knack for it. Uh, at the minute, it's getting the wins that's an issue. Um, yeah, I, I, win, lose or draw for me still goes, but um, Woodward hasn't got any bollocks to him, so it's not going to happen. All right, Ross. Well, cheers for joining me for, for the cheers, half man. an hour or so. Really appreciated it, and uh, thanks for coming on. Yeah, cheers, mate. I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, In better circumstances, hopefully. Well, Next time know. I speak to you, will be gone, mate. Well, you know what? You know what? Just before you go, I was going to say that. You just reminded me. I'm convinced if he went, you'd see a be you'd see a brilliant United team. You know that Valen if he was sacked tomorrow morning because we lost tonight, I would this would make my Christmas. That that meaningless trip to Valencia would suddenly be really exciting because it might be st standing coach, it might be a new coach. You know, I th I think United would if we sacked Mourinho tomorrow morning, I think we'd smash Fulham four 0 at home. I think the, the players will just re release. I'm, I'm absolutely convinced by it. Absolutely convinced that you'll see a totally different United side the minute he's gone. I think he's a, he is a chain round the neck of this club and, and, and he's sinking us. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think a new coach, 
I'd love for him to come in and do what Jose did to Schweinsteiger to Matic, which is banish him. Jose spotted in Schweinsteiger a player very early on that had, had passed his prime. Uh, and he's got one in Matic, but he refu- he's, he's in total, total denial. Um, yeah, I think you're right. We'd see a completely different team. Thanks for coming on, mate. Really appreciate Cheers, it. Mark. Thanks, Cheers, mate. Ross. And Thanks. you can follow Ross on Twitter at Hazza90, which is H A Z 90 uh, with an at in front of it. Charles has made a contribution. He says this $2 is for your best DT impression. A win with the hat. Oh, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready for if we lose tonight because I know what he's going to do. He's going to get on a fan cam. He's going to give me some. So I'm ready for him. If we lose tonight, the cap's coming out. I've got everything ready. Um, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. So, uh, you know, I told you. I told you. Anyway, that's for later. Hopefully I won't need it. Uh, thanks for the contribution, Rail. I just want to say as well, a busy night ahead. We've got fan cams and we will have the Arsenal Fan TV boys on. We've been doing previews with them. They've done previews for us on the channel. So, you know, we will have some interesting both sides of the story. I'm sure Robbie Troops and DT will be doing uh, fan cams with Flex. Flex is outside the ground afterwards as well. He's at the grain as well. But, you you know, you don't miss out. It doesn't matter where you are on the United stand. Every fan voice is, is just as important. And we will be doing the call-in. Um, after my match reaction. So full time, my match reaction. Then we've got the call in where you can call in via Discord and have your say. Win, laws, win, lose or draw, we'll be doing that. And I think, you know, win, lose or draw, it's going to be another cracking call in, isn't it? Because win, what do you think? Lose, all oh, hell breaks loose. Draw, I don't think that's enough either. So it's going to be a very interesting call in. But we've got the watch along. First, uh, Marcus will be joining me very soon. Please do subscribe to the channel if you're new. Bottom right-hand corner. Um, we're closing in on 310,000 subscribers, as you can see in the top right-hand corner. Underneath that, you've got the, the 11. That is not the formation. We just thought it was going to be a 4-3-3. We've had to change a few names around. But it is De Gea. It's Smalling, Rojo and Bay as the three centre-backs. Darmian on the left. Luke Shaw not fit. Dalo on the right. Back position. Preferred over Valencia. I mean, this is the contradiction of Jose. I mean, I preferred Delo, but he's only playing because Jose's fell out with Valencia, who was his captain. You know, a haphazard manager. Midfield, no Pogba, because he's keeping Matic in, who's been shit for longer. That rhymes. Um, Herrera comes in, who he's hardly used. Fellaini to the bench, who's his little boy. You know, I'd rather Herrera, but again, it's just haphazard. Uh, Lingard, Martial, Rashford. I have to believe that Lukaku is carrying a knock because, again, why would he drop one of his favourite players? I don't know. I don't know. But um, that's your team news. Um, as you can see to the left, uh, we've got a win. Lukaku not involved at the moment, but I'm sure we'll see him at some point. Must win game for United tonight. Must win game. We've got to win this game. Um, and... I think if we lose, we are 11 points off top four. I think even if we draw, we're going to be 10 points off top four because Southampton and Chelsea will both win. So a draw will put us 10 points plus off top four. A loss will definitely put us 11 points off top four. So um, very, very interesting. Uh, the Discord channel, don't worry about that, Nike. Uh, we'll have the link in the video description for you very soon. I just need Marcus to come uh, on and I can sort a few bits out. We were uh, we were on time going live. We were on time going live. But um, we um, I didn't get to sort out a few things. Chris Smalling is the captain of Manchester United tonight. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Chris Smalling, Manchester United captain. Who would have thought? In fact, I'm just tweeting that out just to get a few people's thoughts on that. Chris Smalling, captain of Manchester United. I mean, Jose Mourinho does not respect the captain's armband. He's said that it's just an armband. It doesn't mean anything. Again, I think he's losing his marbles because John Terry was probably one of the best Premier League captains has ever been. Um, like Roy Keane, like Steven Gerrard. A captain is very important. They can be the manager on the pitch. So Jose now decides he doesn't do, need one of those despite having one of the most successful ones there's ever been. So now he just gives it to anybody, and it tends to be who's been there the longest um, because he can't be asked to put any thinking into who might be able to lead the team. Ridiculous. Um, five at the back, what a surprise, says Stuart Simpson. 
How does Darmian start? Says Tom. Well, I, I don't think anybody else can start. Ashley Young is suspended. And um, Luke Shaw is, I presume, injured. Um, which is always a concern with Luke Shaw. He's been very consistently fit for a while now. But then he's picked up an injury. Um, De Gea should be captain. Stephen Diak, I agree. Uh, got Mad Marcus joining me. How you doing, pal? You've been wank. How are we doing? All right. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Um, interesting team. Um, Ross wasn't Very. happy with it. I was sort of like, I like the team. But um, uh, people keep talking about background noise. I, I've got no idea what they're on about, about background noise now, because there is no background noise. Have you heard any background noise? Background noise I have you? during the opening parts of the show, yeah. Yeah, and I turned it off. Yeah. Um, I, I can't say I've heard it in the last five minutes, because I've been getting the kids up to bed, mate. Yeah, yeah, uh, it has been turned. Anyway, give us your team news, mate. Um, well, I mean, I'm I've got this down as a five-three-two, um, purely because I don't see United attacking an awful lot with this team. I think you know the way Arsenal set up as well. They've gone a little bit defensive, but they have got flair players in there, and um, they have got creative players in their team as well with that starting lineup. But I just I don't see where the in, the attacking intent is going to come from. From United's point of view, I think it's five at the back. Uh, a hell of a game for Delot to come into. Bay, Smalling, Rojo. I mean, they're not fully fit. They're not match fit. So I worry about that. Darmian on the left-hand side. He's much better on the right, even though he's an average player. Um, Herrera, Matic. Again, you know, Matic starts the game. They're both sitting deep. They're both going to sit deep. Um, you know, Lingard in there. Could he have gone for Fred? I, I think he should have. And Rashford and Martial up top. So I'm expecting United to be on the back foot the majority of the game with no creativity at all in that midfield three. And they're just going to hoof it long, I think, and hope for the best. The noise is off. I thought I turned it off. Apologies for that. Um, yeah, look, I, 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 um, I, I, I'll ask you the question because I've never been in this situation before as a United fan. I just do not know what... To think about this game tonight because yeah. I can't want United to lose. That's just not me. But I can't actually see the positives of, of us winning because Mourinho will definitely stay. And for me, he shouldn't even be here now. So, you know, I think it's just... At the end of the day, if he was sacked tomorrow morning and United won, that would be the best Christmas present ever. If we lose and he gets the sack, then that would be one of the best Christmas presents ever. If we win and he stays here... It's just carrying on with what we're used to, I suppose, isn't it? I just, I yeah. just find it very difficult tonight because I want United to win, of course I do, but I can, I can, I can understand why people are saying I'd rather us just lose and get rid of him. Having said that, um, I don't think there's any guarantee he'd be sacked if we lost anyway, because I think the club are so desperate to keep him. They'd be like, "Well, at least it's Fulham on Saturday. He can win that and save his job," you know. So you know, I don't think it's worth thinking. Let's lose to get rid of him because I don't think he will be gone. Yeah, I mean there is that. I mean I can understand people saying that we you know lose to get rid of him. If that was one hundred percent guaranteed, I think I'd be on that bandwagon. To be honest, mm -hmm. um, if if it was an absolute definite, but we know how what a clown Woodward is, um, and we know how clueless he can be. He, Jose is his guy, and he's going to give him every opportunity to. Um, turn this around from what I can see but I just I don't see it I mean you know I've listened to the De Gea interview just beforehand and you know De Gea saying a club like United should be up there challenging for titles and the expectation now this season is to make sure we qualify for the Champions League next season nine you know eight or nine points at the minute is is not a massive gap they can turn it over but De Gea so sounded I, well, I don't think they can lot, I don't yeah, think they no, can I don't think so, but I mean, if they lose, if you're talking what, is it 11 points? Yeah. I think that's that's a bridge too far for me. I really do. And then, you know, you're going to be talking, we're nearly at the same stage um, with the same amount of points behind City at this minute from where we finished off last season, second. You know, I think we were like 19 points behind them last season. Yeah. Um, you know, and what are we now, 15, 16 possibly? Yeah. Um. Yeah, and we're not even halfway through the season at the minute. That's a hell of a drop. Negative goal difference as well. And again, you know, you go back to this lineup. 
Valencia's on the bench. OK, he's fallen out with him, but I would have much preferred to have seen Valencia on the right and Delart with left, the left-hand yeah, side. Yeah, that is, yeah, that is a very, very good point. You know, very good point. And I don't think I've seen... I've seen a few people in the live comments making it, but me and, me and Ross certainly didn't talk about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'd like to have seen that. But I suppose... W- w- the team, the, the, what do you think about Pogba? Because I think dropping Pogba is stupid, but I actually got to respect Jose and say, if you've called him out in the dressing room like you did on Saturday, that you would have been a hypocrite to pick him tonight. Yeah, in, yeah. again, I can see that. But I think in this this sort of game, when there's a lot on the line, there's a lot at stake, not just for Jose personally, but for Manchester United as a club as well. I think in these sort of games, no matter what's been said uh, as a footballer, you get your head down and you do your talking on the pitch and you prove the manager wrong. So I think for Jose, again, he's made it all about him. If he'd have picked Popper tonight, he'd have looked a complete prat. But you've got to pick your best players if they're fit and available, no matter what's got on. You know, it's Arsenal at Old Trafford. We're not the favourites to win the game. You've got to put your best players out there. You really have. You've got to try and relieve the pressure somehow. Um, and I think... He's only just he's, he's just he's making it so hard for himself. He really is. Well, I did say that to Ross as well that you know if we win tonight, you know, great. If we win tonight, absolutely great. But if we do win tonight, it's still captain chaos, isn't it? Because you know yeah. he's, he's still got to solve the Pogba problem. I mean, there's no Fred and Pereira tonight. You know, not even on the bench. Pogba's dropped. I think most people would say if you're gonna drop Pogba, you've got to play Pereira or Fred. Neither are even on the bench. Um, and uh, it's just, uh, again, I think, you know, there's a lot of good things about this team tonight, but I don't trust it because I just think Mourinho's just thrown the quality street up in the air and mm. seen what's landed because, it, again, there's no logic. You've spent so long standing by Fellaini and Lukaku and then you drop him and then you play yeah. Herrera and you bring Delo in and you play, you know, you play Lingard, Rashford and Martial, which is what people have wanted for a long time. On Saturday, will you drop one of them to play Lukaku again because it went too well when you did it? I don't know. I don't know. It's really strange. I mean, the the way he's got the team, the way the, the people that he's picked, there's so many ways that this team can change formation throughout the game. Um, and I don't think that's a good thing because three of those players in that back line are not fully fit for a start. Um, I don't think Bailey and Rojo have played together all season. No. Small in, you know, it's some people say that Bay and Rojo were our best centre backs, you know, the last season. Um, and yeah, they probably were. But, you know, at this minute in time, he's that desperate. He's just chucking players in now to just try and fill the gaps. In, instead of having the best quality players in there and the, you know, the fittest players in there, he's just trying to make it because if we lose the game, there's his excuse already. You know, three of the back five are not fully fit. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah right. wasn't, You know what I mean? Pogba's not playing. Lukaku's not playing. Shaw's injured. Playing. Exactly. You he's going to say. You know what he's going to say? What he's going to say is my 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 number one back four wasn't there. Luke Shaw, mm. Ashley Young, Lindelof, and Smalling's injured. So, hundred percent. I think you're right there. I think I think the excuses are already laid out for Mourinho. Um, that's why I think even if we lose, he'll still be here because. He doesn't look like a man under pressure to me. He doesn't look nervous. He doesn't look like he's concerned about his job. And everything out of the club at the moment is that they have got no intention of sacking him, despite the fact I, I think top four's gone anyway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the bloke is just becoming so cocky and arrogant. I don't like that. I really don't like that because he's coming across as though, like you just said, he's so secure in his job and nothing is going to get him out of it. Well, sorry, but to me... You know, a lot of people say since the Sevilla game last season, he should have gone. For me, I I turned when we got battered by Tottenham. Um, you know, I know you said the first half was a good performance in that game. But the best, some of the best attacking football we played. But to me, no. L- losing to a top four contender, 3-0 at home, is absolutely dreadful. And then the run of games we've had recently, you don't get no easier. You really don't. And Crystal mm-hmm. Palace, Southampton and Young Boys... Two points from six in the Premier League, and we scrape that win against young boys to qualify for the Champions League. They're not convincing performances. Even when he puts his so-called go-to men out on the pitch, they're not, you know, they're not playing well. They really aren't. And that, for me, comes down to the, you know, the manager's attitude. What's he doing with them? 
What's he saying to them at half time? He just seems to put them down. Every opportunity he gets, he puts them down. And that's not going to instill the confidence in the players. Well, we're getting very close to kick-off. Um, and, you know, what I would say about the, the fixtures is, I mean, Mourinho himself, I think, was counting on. That's why he said it in the uh, international break. I've got, you know, by Christmas, everyone's played everybody and we'll be in the top four. And, that, and that's the thing, isn't it? You know, it's not even about easy fixtures now. We've nearly played everybody in the league once. Um, by Christmas, we will have, which is only a couple of weeks away. And we're still where we are because that's where we deserve to be. So um, look, it's, it's going to be an interesting game. Of course it is. And um, just remember, everybody, um, we will have the call in um, straight after the show where you can all call in and have your say. Um, and we'll also have uh, my match reaction afterwards. And obviously we're going to be live with you all the way through to uh, kick off. Um, Harley Lois says, Mark, manage Manchester United now, please. No, I couldn't manage Manchester United. That's you know that's not what I'm saying. I'm just a Manchester United fan. Um, I think I could be a board member of Manchester United. I was thinking about that today. I'd quite happily be a board member. I think I know more about football than a lot of our board members. They may be better businessmen than me, but I think I do understand football and Manchester United far more than they do. In fact, I don't think any of them are actually Manchester United fans. Um, because he should be gone. He should be gone. But for the next 90 minutes, it's all about this match. Um, please do subscribe if you're new, bottom right-hand corner, or you can do it the link in the video description. Drop a like on the video. Let's see if we can get 1,000 likes. Um, and we're closing in on 310,000 subscribers. But I think it's going to be a very, very interesting night, no matter how it goes. Um, I really do. And um, I just hope... I, I don't. You know what? I don't even know what I hope for. That's the thing. And I don't say that with any, um, any sort of... Um, Apology, I do not know what I'm wishing for in this game uh, because there's a large part of me that just thinks if, he, if, if we lose, surely he'll go, although I don't think he will. But if we win, is it just going to be another smoke screen, another bandwagon where this minority of Mourinho winners will say, oh, he is the man, he is the man, and he'll be like, I'm the man, I'm the man. I just, I just think... I think the problem is he's overstayed his welcome, isn't it? Um, Marcus, yeah. I just need to have a quick toilet break, everybody, just yeah, before well. this game starts. I think it's an excited we, uh, effectively, because I am excited. <laughs> it's Arsenal, Manchester United is always a big game, um, but uh, I'll, I'll be back with you in a moment. Yeah, go for it, cool, So, come on in, guys, in the comments. What are we hoping for? I mean, are you hoping for a loss? Are you hoping for a win? What's your score predictions? You know, let's get it in. Let's get it in. Um... Let's read out some comments. Byron Hall says, Jose is trying to break the players, so they start to do exactly what he says, but it's not working. The battle is still raging. I think I think you've got a point now. I think there is some truth in that. It really does. Um, Schmo1 says, 8-2 United. I don't think it's going to be that scoreline, mate, but, you know. Uh, Philip Thomas says the same thing, 8-2. Uh... So look, Tommy King's going for a win. Tom 4Z, 15-0 United. Draw at best, says CyberWest. 3-1 Arsenal, Brad Pryor. 3-0 Arsenal, Andy Cleverly. Right, Reece Smith says, is he playing a 3-5-2 formation? That's how, that's how the uh, BT have got it lined up. But I think United are going to be defending so much this game. It's, it's going to be a 5-3-2 from the outset. I really do. Um, hiya Paul, you're right. Uh, let's have a look. 2 0 says Ryan Keller Gaming. You didn't say who to, though. Reza Sunday, 2 1 Arsenal. Uh, 3 0 to Arsenal says Gary Wells. Martial, birthday brace, 2 1. Oh, yes. Hiya right, Matthew. I forgot it was Martial's birthday, so yeah, happy birthday to uh, Martial. Yeah, hopefully he has a good performance tonight. Uh, Forest Dweller says we're going to lose nil nil. <laughs> I think that's impossible. <laughs> uh, one nil United says Lil Mano. So I mean there are some, yeah there's quite a few of you in the comments saying United are going to win. Um, yeah and again there's quite a few saying the uh, Arsenal are going to win. For me, I say this with a very very heavy heart. I've never gone into a game against Arsenal where I think we're going to lose, even in the Van Hal Moyes days. But I think this one, I think we're going to lose this one. I really do. And I think it's going to be 3-1 to Arsenal. Um, I just don't see where the creativity is going to come from, from United. And if we somehow manage to scrape a result, 
you, you just know Lukaku's coming on, Fellaini's coming on, you know, and if we get a goal with them two guys on, Mourinho's just going to say, well, you know, there we go, my guys do it again. You know, this team is just not good enough. So, no, sod the bloke, absolutely sod him. He deserves everything he gets, all the bad press that he's getting, he deserves it, a lot of it. He's doing nothing to just to justify at the minute why he should be Manchester United manager. Really bad, really poor football. There we go um, then. How are we doing, mate? Right, so I've got the teams coming out at the minute. Yes, yes. I'm a bit annoyed actually. I don't know whether any else is because um, BT Sports, you used to be able to get non-HD. Yes. And non-HD yeah. was always a little bit ahead of yeah. HD. Yeah. And now you can only get HD. Yeah. Which means you're all, you're always going to be a few seconds behind now, which which is a bit of a pisser, but there you go. We're all in the same boat. Yeah. Well, apart from people in live comments, they seem to be like two or three minutes ahead of me for some reason. Um, no, they're not, because it's not kick-off yet. They're only just coming out. Don't listen to them. <laughs> I'm seeing uh, Emery. I, I think, well, I, I know traditionally we always beat United. Uh, we always beat Arsenal at uh, Old Trafford but I think this is a totally different ball game this season Emery's got them playing some really good football um, and I just think the way they're playing they're just going to outsmart us well you know what there is a positive to this because if by some miracle Manchester well, it's not a miracle actually you know what There's, if you listen to Robbie you know Robbie and Troops when they were on the United stand they were saying look yeah. you know they weren't giving it the bigger and they were saying yeah we're, we're in really good form and if 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 you know if but some maybes we can win it but there was no overconfidence because they have been here before and we've played the Raphael twins in midfield and beat them you know so you know they've had their fingers burnt with that before so um yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't be uh, massively. Uh, um, they're not massively confident. Although a lot of United fans are saying you should be. You should be confident. Yeah, yeah I mean, and and again, that's you know what we're feeling, what we're thinking is coming from Mourinho. You know, it's it's coming from the mood that he's setting at Old Trafford, the mood around the team. You know, we know how good our team is at the minute. We, I mean, basically, we're playing. We're playing like a mid-table team, and yeah, you know, we're playing. We're playing like where really, we are, aren't we? Yeah, where we are, yeah. And you know, Arsenal are flying high. That you know they're unbeaten in so many games. I mean, they haven't won at Old Trafford for you know umpteen years, but the records are there to be broken. And this is a new chapter in Arsenal's, you know, in Arsenal going forward. So um, I oh. think all Bamian. Couple of super chats to read out quickly before yeah, they disappear. Yeah. Imrano TV says Fergie once beat Arsenal heavily with seven defensive players. Jose is finally following in Sir Alex football's footsteps. He's changed. Yeah. And Luke Ledger says I feel sorry for Pogba. It's like <coughs> taking an artist canvas away, giving him a paint by numbers picture with dull colours, and expecting a masterpiece. And Luke Skywalker's here. He says if the United manager can't get us in the top six of distance covered, to me that is a big failure. The team is so static and lazy. Jose is responsible for that. He's a United manager. He is not. It's not good enough well I, I agree with you mate I agree with you anyway the game is about to kick off uh, referee uh, I should know his name I know him I can't think of his bloody name but we're off we're off and yeah, running <laughs> um, Angela Lansbury's just come into my name it's not Angela Lansbury I know the I know the ref I can't think of his bloody name the time is up United are up and um, let's see how they get on I mean one of the interesting things about tonight is going to be how the players respond because he's dropped Pogba. Pogba is Pogba is um, it's like Rant said. Pogba's popular with the youngsters. He's popular with the French players. Yeah. You know he's pom popular with a lot of players in that United team. Um, Badabing Schwing says, "Wow, in this game he chooses Bay Rojo and Delot. I like it that they will play, but what a game to sort of warm them into. What a clown! I think I don't think he's got any other choice really. But um, United actually have started on the attack here. Um, it is a three. I just find it, I think you're spot on, Marcus. I think it's hilarious that Darmian is almost playing as a left winger at the moment and he is yeah. a defensive right back. You know, he could have just put Delot at left back and Val Valencia at right wing back. You know, it's Jose all over, isn't it? He's all, yeah. always got to find the defensive element because I, w I was at the Palace game. Anyone who watched the Palace game, Darmian played right back and was basically like a right winger. But he's a defensive right back. He doesn't know what to do. He's a waste of time. Watch him go and score a hat-trick now. Yeah. I mean, it's, we've got the same problem tonight on the left-hand side as what we have on the right-hand side if Matter's playing. You know, Darmian hasn't got a left foot. 
But we all, you know, everyone knows that the lot can put in a cross, you know, whether it's with his right foot or his left foot. So, you know, where, where is the sense in that? You're making Darmian go down the left-hand side, having to cut in on his right side, which is exactly the same as what Mata does on the right side in midfield. He has to come in and cut on his left. So I don't see us going down the left-hand channel. He's not the quickest of players. He, he's not the creative. He's not, a, he's not a forward player. He really isn't. I, I don't understand that decision. Decent start by United here. Rashford uh, getting the ball off Martial and nearly... Andre Mariner is the ref. I knew he'd come to mm-hmm. me in a minute. Um, but United are pressing quite well. I and mean, it's just... It's ridiculous, isn't it? You know, it's absolutely ridiculous that we've been playing the shit for three years. He's, his job's hanging by a fucking thread. He picks all the players, more or less, that we want. And from the first few minutes, they're on the front foot pressing. It's like, yeah. it's a con job. It's a con job. And it actually irritates me. Because why haven't we been doing this for the last three years? It's like, it's going to mug all the fans off. And the fans will be like, oh, yeah, yeah, look at the passion. But it, why have we not done it for three years? It, it really mm. irritates me. It really irritates me to see us doing this. Definitely. Because we should have been doing it every bloody game. Yeah. And this has got a very similar vibe to me as when City came to Old Trafford and we just didn't turn up. And it was just like long ball United because already there's been two long balls from Rojo in the opening two minutes down the left-hand side to Martial. So it's it's obvious what he's going for. It's a hit and hope. When we get it in the final third, the players are going to push up and you know, it'll go back to square one. We are really going to have... To defend for our lives tonight, we really have to. I mean, Aubameyang is as clinical as they come at the minute, and his second goal in the derby uh, Sunday was absolutely phenomenal. Well, at the moment, Arsenal are on the back foot, and it's United doing all the pressing, um, and Arsenal can't string a pass together. I mean, it started off well, but yeah, you know, we all know we're a team of two halves. You know, this <laughs> we can press for the first forty-five minutes. You know, but we know second half is going to be the complete opposite. And the way, you know, I hate to say it, but the way Arsenal came out second half in the derby, <laughs> Spurs had no answer to it. And Spurs were a better side than us. Anderson Gooey says, what's my thoughts on Pogba being dropped? Um, I, 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 do, I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it, but I think Mourinho had to do it. Shot by Rashford straight at the keeper. Good, right, good tester. Yeah. Yeah, he's warmed his gloves up, so you'd like that one nice and easy for a take, first save. Again, this took, you know, opening exchanges, bit of a tame shot, but the intent is there. But again, it, it all starts from the left-hand side, and it's Martial, but, you know, he drags the players out of position to get Rashford that space on that left-hand side. But you've got three or four players on that left-hand side and no one's there in the middle. Quite comfortable. Uh, Reno out, says Fraser. Rashford drilled that shot, says Joe. Byron Hall says it will soon fade. Yeah, I totally agree. This, ain't, this won't last long. Well, we're not fit enough, are we, for it to last no, long? No, But uh, it's, a good, it's a good first five minutes for United. I would say that. It's a good start from United. Um, Arsenal seem to be struggling to, to, to put any passes together. And United are, uh, are trying to press and move the ball quickly, which is something we don't do. You know, if we played like this every week, I wouldn't necessarily have a problem. But... It's we don't do that every we don't do it every week, do we? No, we don't, and it's it's a shame because we do have the players to do it every week. It's just he just Mourinho just doesn't allow it. Arsenal haven't settled into this game so far at all. Uh, United certainly have, and it'd be interesting to see whether we can keep that up. I just don't. The energy levels just aren't there. I know we've had an extra day's rest. Which is a big, big thing. It is a big thing. The the extra day rest for United will be a big thing. Uh, Newcastle are winning one nil. Yeah, don't think anyone really gives a shit. But you know, you know, setting the tempo definitely. The early tempos 
on United's side at the minute. I mean, Matic doing his usual four or five touches in the middle before he releases the ball. It is absolutely pissing it down mm. as well. So you probably will see a lot of bad touches and a, a lot of bad passes. Uh, you know what, though? What I would say about the lineup because uh, Epic Plays has just said it as well. I always felt that United's best formation is 3-5-2. We've done it a few times. We did it on the tour. We used it a couple of times last season. I always think United have played their best football in a 3-5-2, but Mourinho yeah. always moves away from it. Um, and here we are tonight, and again, it, we, it suits us. I, I think 3-5-2 is the formation that, that, that suits United the best under Mourinho. I mean, a new manager might come and do something different. Robin Cormack says, I dare to believe the board might keep Mourinho until most of the fans stop attending games. It's the only way to get him out. Yeah, I, I do. I don't think if we lose, Mourinho's gone. I don't. Uh, maybe that's because I'm sort of hoping, you know, positive, you know, reverse psychology, but I don't. The thing is, I mean, you said there, the three five two is the best formation. Yeah, it probably is, you know, attacking-wise. But when are we ever good at attacking? You know, when, when will he find a settled centre-back pairing? It's, you know, the formations are there for us. We've got the personnel, but we can't play three five two when you've got McTominay or Herrera or Matic as the bloody centre-backs. Well, it's all United at the moment, possession-wise, and we're actually pressing high, says Fuzzy Bear. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we're keeping the ball well, but, you know, apart from the Rashford shot straight at the goalie, there's not really nothing to... Um, Get excited about it at the minute. Corner for United looking, here. Yeah, the lots look comfortable down the right hand side. I see Lingard, you know, he's, he's been pulling out to the left hand side quite frequently as well. Apparently, the fans at the ground are singing Mourinho in. Well, you know what? I think they're idiots. <laughs> I do. I'm sorry. I, I have an opinion as a fan. I don't have to respect people. If they think Mourinho should stay, I've made my mind up. He should go. I don't agree with him. I think I think you're fool. I think you're foolish if you're singing Mourinho in. I really do think all the evidence is he's a cretin. But it doesn't mean no one's going to listen to my opinion, are they? Yeah, I mean press conferences, you know, post-match preference, press conferences, the way we're playing, man management skills, everything points towards him going out the exit door. Arsenal have started off badly anyway. Very badly. If you're an Arsenal fan watching, um, lots of mistakes, not getting on the ball, mm. not the better team. United are the better team for the first yeah. 10 minutes, 100%. And maybe there's a lot in that. You know, we've had 24 hours uh, rest and they're with the away team. Mm. And they've probably got that little Old Trafford voodoo. Yeah, there is that. I mean, you know, that's what we're clinging on to, to win this game. You know, the fact that they haven't won here for like 10, 11 years in the league. I mean, look how far you know, the expectations are dropping. Yeah, lots of mistakes from Arsenal, Josh. Yeah, they've not, they've not started off very well at all. Um, Southampton winning 1-0 already, um, which is not good from our point of view if we draw or lose. And again, I don't know who this... Uh, what's the name of the lad with the long Fellaini hair? In the uh, oh. Arsenal, I think I think he gets he gets shouted out as being a really good player, but he, he started mm. terribly in this game, giving the ball away there. United on the attack again. Yes, it's um, I mean this Arsenal squad it seems quite young. I mean they're wanting to play quick. It's just the final balls at the minute are not reaching their targets. <sighs> a little bit better from Arsenal now. I think that was a foul there by uh, yeah. Damian. Went straight in front of Aubameyang, but yeah. it was a clever foul because the ref's not giving it. Gwendolsi, yeah. thank you very much. Um, well, yeah, true. Arsenal trying to come, they try to come forward with pace, but sometimes I think their play is just a little bit too quick for their own good. I personally think Arsenal have made a mistake in this game. I think they shouldn't have uh, played Ramsey. I think they should have played Lacazette or Mkhitaryan, really. Um, because I think we're there to be hit on the break. Mm, think... It'll be interesting to see if United get ahead, though. Because mm. I think Mourinho will, will desperately want to... Um, 
he will desperately want um, to win this game. And I don't think United are going to play to win this game 2 or 3 nil. I think he would be then thinking about getting very protective of a, of a lead. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we, if we get... If we get a goal in the first half, um, he'll probably come out second half and defend that. It's you know, it's already obvious what the tactics are, what he's told them to do. Um, you know, coming up to uh, thirteen minutes. To... Overlap, overlap, Martial. You go. No, he should have used the overlap there to Damian shoots. But Arsenal just seem to have weathered the storm, if you can call it that. Well, Arsenal are a second half team. Uh, mm. Beast Mode Pros just said that they they 100 percent are. Um, when United aren't a second half team, United are a one half team. We have one good half and one bad half, and you know sometimes it's the second half and sometimes it's the first half. And Callum White's right. You've got to be very careful because we started mm. off very well against Spurs, and we still lost three yeah. 0 yeah. Phil Jones isn't playing today though. Lovely play by Eric Bay there. Took four Arsenal players out, but then the pass is backwards. Yeah. Yeah. No intent to go forwards. <sighs> see, we, not. Apart from that shot from Rashford, which was very speculative, you know, we've had a good start, but again, the ch where are the chances? Where are the shots yeah. on goal? Um, it's a usual story. Yeah. And the chance that came from Rashford was the um, the long ball down the left hand side from Rojo. I mean, but Bay's done some good work in the opening exchanges so far. Like I said just now, Delot looks really good on the right hand side, but they're not using him enough to get him forward. We know what decent ball we can put into the box. Well, here we go. He might put something in now. Yeah. No. Cleared. There is uh, an intensity to United to press, though, which is uh, nice to see. And Arsenal's passing is just it's bad it's minute, shocking. Yeah. It's really poor. Yeah, they've they've started off really bad here, and I think uh, if they were against the better team, they might be in problems. Uh, we're playing the three-five-two uh, blazing spirit. Darmian and uh, Delo are definitely pushing forward as the wing. You've got. Uh, um, Matic and Herrera with Lingard sort of ahead of them and then Martial and Rashford as the front two so Martial's certainly not playing wide he's sort of the left striker and Rashford the right striker Yeah Arsenal not really they've not got their passing game together so far um, you know, they're losing the ball quite easily and Herrera's doing a really good job of mopping up in the midfield Good bit of communication between him and the um, the back back three. Oh, Bay's got to be careful there. Oh, yeah, corner ball. A risk. I was a bit I was a bit worried about Bay there because uh, away we'd got the run on him into the box on the on the wide. He was never going to shoot, but I just thought Bay, do not, don't chuck a leg out. Just accept you've lost the fight. Um, <laughs> Lee Davies says United could not press a doorbell under Jose. That's the sort of thing I'll <laughs> say. But uh, they, they have pressed well today. You know, to be honest with you, in an isolated 15 minutes, United have started very well. But it's the same old story. What have we got to show for that 15 minutes? Because actually, we haven't created the chance on goal. And Arsenal have got a corner here. And if they went and scored it, it'd be 15 minutes of really good play from United with nothing to show from it. Not you know the shot yep. from Rashford. You know, come on, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to be a worldie. Um, Arsenal have started off very badly. De Gea has got it, so that's okay. Um, oh. But it, but it's nil nil. You've got to you've got to use the the the, um, the advantage, haven't you? Yeah, you have. Yeah, and you know you've got to capitalise on Arsenal not being able to play their passing game in in these first few first fifteen sixteen minutes. So you know, like you just said there, United have got nothing really to show for it for the possession. I think possession stats was about uh, fifty seven or fifty eight percent for United. So you know, one attempt, well, we've had two attempts with Rashford and Martial, but Martial's been the better of the two. My concern is that United are doing a lot of running, and if we don't get, um, if we don't get something from all this running, then we're, inevitably we're, gonna, we're not going to be able to do this for 90 minutes. 
because we're not used to doing it at all. No, we're not. So probably find that day's extra day's rest might come in handy now. kick yeah I mean you know the players that come in Herrera has done quite well um, Delot he's done well when he's got the ball down that right hand side um, yeah you know I mean the way we're passing the ball you can't really complain about it it's just the fact that, you know, that we've not had the chances when we've got this much possession we should be creating chances and we've just not created anything at the minute Need to keep the ball on the floor. Can't go long when you've got Rashford and uh, no. Martial and Lingard as your front players. No, but I mean, down, down that left hand side is going to be interesting with uh, Diamond up against Bellerin. I think Bellerin's going to beat him all day long, to be honest, providing the pass is right. Mm, good play by Torreira then to get it off Martial. Yeah, we're starting to grow into the game now. Yeah, Arsenal. this is the thing. I think we needed to um, take advantage of uh, yeah. Arsenal when they were knocking their passes about badly. But good play there by Eric Bailly. And I don't know where that pass was meant uh, to go. Yeah, that way. Aditya says you're so negative. Mate, shut up. Seriously. Like, you know, make your own mind up. Don't start calling people negative. I think people have got every right to be negative about Manchester United at the moment. We're eighth in the league. We're eight points off fourth place. We've got negative goal difference. Don't moan at United fans if they feel a little bit negative because it's been inflicted on us by the manager and the shit we've had to put up with all season. Yeah. You don't have to come on here and be full of beans and happy. If you want to be negative, be negative. If you want to be happy, be happy. Don't tell people how to think because that's what an opinion and, and that's what a fan channel is all about. Could always flip it and say, what's there to be positive about? Well, yeah, but, you know, but on the other hand, if Aditya wants to be positive, let him be positive. You know, I ain't got a problem with it. But don't come on here saying, oh, you're negative. I think there's there's reams and, you know, you could write, and you know, 50 encyclopedias about reasons to be negative. You couldn't fill a five-page book on being positive with United. It's um, And that's with big writing and lots of pictures. There's just, there's nothing to be, there's very little to be positive about. I'll, I'll admit the start's been quite good in this game. But how many chances have we created? You know? Yeah. Yeah. And Arsenal are starting to grow into it a bit now. Their, their passing was way off. And now it's suddenly they're, they're getting hold of the ball and we're giving up possession. We're giving up space here. Yeah. We, we, we're not pressing high up the pitch now. No. We're uh, dropped off. Pogba's been dropped apart. He's on the bench. Which, I, I've got to say... I'll be positive here for Aditya. I would never drop Paul Pogba, but I, I think I respect Mourinho for dropping him because you can't call somebody a virus and blame them for the result and then pick them in the week when you've got loads of midfielders fit. So I think he was right to drop him in Mourinho's mind. Personally, he's a bloody idiot for dropping him, but I think Mourinho had to drop him. Uh, they're in and well cleared by Darmian, but down the down the like width there. The low really a bit bit naive there. It's not Darmian, it's the low. They're into the box. Arsenal, yeah. be a bit careful here, United. Oh, we rode that a little bit. Yeah. The gaps, the gaps are appearing. Um, and I think this is, I hate to say, I think this is where the fitness comes into it and not playing the games. You're not match fit. You're, you're mentally not fit. Um, yeah, and already two opportunities there. Well, that back five's never played, to, played with each other. A lot of them are coming back from injury or their squad players, so it's going to be difficult. Uh, um, Hill Delen says Matic is the worst player in Manchester United history. Uh, to be honest with you, mate, I haven't noticed him yet, so that's a positive. <laughs> you know, I normally notice how crap he is, so at least today I'm not even noticing him. I mean, the, the opportunity's there. They are there for Arsenal. I mean, Delo caught out down that left hand side, ball whipped in. United. I don't know, they, they didn't look comfortable clearing them, clearing that ball away from the box then. Wan W says, that's... what's it looking like? At the, I think United started the first 15 minutes pressing. Re, now, this situation here, where Arsenal are passing the ball around the back four, we were pushing, we were right up on them, and now we're going back to what we're normally like. It's like, just move everybody move back. And now it's, it's unpressured possession for Arsenal. So we're either knackered or, I don't know. 
but we've stopped doing it. I would say they're knackered, mate, because they're not used to doing it. It's, you know, it's the same old, same old. They start off, they either start off well or they start off bad. There is no in between. In this game, we started off well, first 20 minutes, and now it's back to normal. And this will probably be the theme now, even throughout the you know, the second half, up until 90 minutes. We'll just sit back, invite the pressure, and they'll capitalise on it. Well, they've got a striker like, like they have in Aubameyang, you know, he only needs one chance and he can put it away. Oh, good play Delow there. I thought he was in. Good play, yeah. Good tracking and covering. But United now are just resorting to surrendering the possession and st standing off. They're looking nervous now. Now the centre backs are being pulled out to the halfway line. That wasn't a corner, it was an offside anyway. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. This is going to be a long game for United. A long game. I think um, Marino would be happy with the point, you know. I think he'd come out and say, oh, I've got so many injuries, my defence have never played together, they're heroes, we can build on this, la la la. <laughs> We've got to win. We've got to win. Yeah. That's the only result I'll let him talk bollocks about. A win. I mean, he can say the defence have never played together, but, you know, us as fans can say, well, when do you ever play a steady centre-back pairing? Apart from Small and Lindelof this season, mm. um, for a few games, there's never been a centre-back pairing that's stayed solid. I mean, Rashford and Martial just not getting the ball anymore now. Yeah, I'd say that. I'd bet. In, I bet if you looked at the stats in the last five minutes, Man Arsenal have probably had about eighty percent possession. Yeah. United at the minute are just being pulled all over the place. It's like they're chasing shadows at the minute. They really are. I mean, thankfully, when the ball's coming in the box, United are quite positionally sound at the minute. Well, Dev's right. We're giving them way too much space and we're not pressing them yeah. anymore. That was the thing that the thing, this is all Arsenal now, Archie, you're right. And the thing is, I don't understand why we've suddenly changed. Like, we were causing them problems, um, pressing them, and now we've stopped pressing them. And I, I, I don't know why. The difference is, you've got Emery on the touchline there, shouting and barking the orders at the players every minute so far of this game. And then you've got Mourinho sat down, just writing on his poxy notepad. Remember, Arsenal are a second half team. So if we're not if we're not in front at half time, we're gonna to have to bloody change a lot in the second half to get back into this. I know it's only nil nil at the moment, but again, Delo, he's getting yeah. they're getting in on Delo a lot. Yep, yeah. inexperienced down that right hand side there. I mean, going. I forward, see people are. I'll play Delo, play Delo. Yeah. You know, it's not the game to play him in. We've had the games to play him in. Yeah. You know, an inform Arsenal team chucking him into this. And I, I think, you know, I would have played Valencia tonight, to be honest. Yeah. Or I would have done what you said, put him over on the left-hand side. I would have, I think he's just got, he's got more help over at that left-hand side. Yeah. You know, he, he's got, what, Matic, sometimes Herrera goes out. Rojo, Rojo is a, yeah. more, he's a converted left-back. You know, there, there was a couple of things... Mourinho could have done to make this back line a little bit more solid. Ooh, De Gea! Bloody goal! A fucking sake. goal! It's gone over the line! That's a calamity mistake by De Gea! Jesus. And it's 1-0 to Arsenal! Gosh. Fucking hell! What a dog's dinner that is! Why De Gea? Why is De Gea making bloody mistakes like that? Yeah. It's headed straight at him and he's palmed it into his own goal! Yeah. yeah. Ang I don't know whether his angles are wrong there, his concentration levels are just not there. But what is the matter with him at the minute? Oh, it's calamitous. It doesn't even look like it goes over the line to me, but we know with modern yeah, technology it yeah. does. We're not going to get saved that. It's straight at him. <laughs> oh, what is he doing? Palming it up. It does go over the line. Well, it obviously goes over the line, doesn't it? I don't think in a... a blame it on modern technology because that would never have been given as a goal without it. Oh, De Gea, of all the people. 
You know, we can't moan at him, Marcus, really. We can't. How can you moan at David De Gea? He's, he's saved right. us so many times. Yes. But his yeah, bloody yeah. cost us a goal there. He's palmed, he's palmed it over the light. He's gone up for it. It's, it's a lack of concentration, I think. What is he doing? What is he doing by, by um, what he's thinking? What is he thinking? But uh. absolutely awful. I mean, Herrera's done his best there on the line to clear it. But um, no, oh, that is just dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. They've been gifted a goal. They really have. Absolutely gifted. So no need for that. And there we go, you know, and everyone in the comments on um, Slate and Pickford the other day against Liverpool. Yeah, it's the same, it's a similar sort yeah, of thing, same, isn't it? Yeah, same thing. I did say, you know, just cause everyone's entitled to a mistake. And I think as costly as it is, you know, and it is bad for us, but, you know, he's been solid for so many years to hire. Just a shame he's, he's made a mistake like that in this game. Well, hopefully we can get one back because I think, you know, I, I don't want us losing games like that. I mean, it's just, you know, that's just, that, there's nothing, Arsenal haven't done anything to earn that goal. It's just a bloody mistake. And you, of course you can get mistakes in football, but we, we don't need mistakes like that in a game like this. I, I don't want to lose to a bloody mistake. I don't, you know, if we're going to get beat, let's get beat. But it's just, it's straight at it. It's a header straight at him. Maybe it's the wet. Maybe it is the wet. Could have been, yeah. Could have been. I mean, that's really, that is, that is I think I'm right in saying it, that is the first thing he's had to deal with. Yeah. Um, you know, his confidence is going to take a hit after that now for the rest of the game. If I was Arsenal now, I'd be saying just shoot on sight, get it on target, see what happens. Well, you know, <clears throat> of course it's going to be a kick up the arse for United, but to be honest with you, the kick up the arse should have come a little bit before that is a free kick for United here. I don't know whether we've yeah. got anybody who can actually take free kicks because we haven't got one matter. Um, or Paul Rashford. Pogba. It'd be Rashford, won't it? Well, we yeah. could do with something from Rashford. It. I don't, well, yeah, it was a foul. Well, Herrera can put him in, can he? Yeah. Hmm? Well, just uh, the most important thing is get it on target because it's raining. Yeah. Absolutely shell shock. You never expect that from our most consistent player. Gun Ho, after 30 minutes, what has happened? Uh, that was from uh, CGS. <sighs> it's not over yet. It's not over yet. I think Roho is going to hit this. <clears throat> or Rashford. Surely, that, that, this is Rashford's. Over the wall, top right-hand corner. Got to be, isn't it? I mean, it is central, but I think it favours the right foot. But if it stays like this at half-time, you can already see what's going to happen. Oh, what was the bloody camera yeah. angle there? Okay. Yes! yes! Get in! Martial, oh. I don't know what Arsenal are doing. Yeah. Shit defending, but it comes back to Martial on his birthday. Happy birthday. Martial scores for Manchester United and it's 1-1. The mistake is gone and I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased that mistake's gone. I do not want anything on De Gea at all. He doesn't deserve that. Um, the free kick from, it's actually from Rojo. We didn't get to see it first time. Rojo hits it. Leno saves it. Doesn't go for the corner. And then the cutback, no one goes for it. Martial's there, edge of the six-yard box. It's Herrera who's quick to Herrera act, yeah. cuts it back. And uh, poor defending by Arsenal. Keeper should be putting that out for a corner anyway. But uh, Martial's there to put it home. And we needed that. I do not want this. I did not, you know, clangor by De Gea. But Martial's the man to get it back to 1-1. One, one. Good, good stuff. Yeah. I mean, a great, great cutback there from Herrera. I mean, he... <laughs> He could have let it go for a corner, but he didn't. He's chased it. He's followed it in, cut it back straight across goal first time, and Martial puts it. No chance for the goalkeeper. Absolutely no chance. I but, think, um, I, to be honest, I think I think both keepers are suffering with the rain. Mm. Because a decent yeah. keeper there would have put that free kick out. 
Yeah. I'll and Oliver that. Price says the amount of times the hair is saved has let him off. Well, I think we can all. Yeah. Well, I would. I would let him off anyway. But um, I think Aaron Ramsey's down injured now, so it's given us a bit of time. I would let. You I think we're all disappointed with the hair, and it is a clanger. But I don't think anyone was like having a pop pop at him really. I think it's just disappointment, isn't it? And I, that's why I'm so pleased that we've equalised so quickly, because you don't want. You don't want it on De Gea. No, but I mean, I hate to bring it up, but there's no reaction there from Mourinho, even when the goal goes in. Um, you know, you think he'd be getting down on that touchline in his technical area and, you know, saying to him, keep going, you know, go again. I think they're trying to say Herrera's offside. Well, his, half, his top half of his body is, his legs aren't, so I think you've got to give it the, the credit there. Um, Red Jedi says, "Let's beat these overrated pretty boys." Jose won't be sacked anyway. I, I, I sort of, I sort of do agree with you, mate. Yeah. I think Elm that Gwendozi will get books now because he's had a, yeah. he did the foul on the uh, Martial and he's just done a foul on Rashford, or is it gone the other way? Uh, it's not Ramsey down for uh, Arsenal. It's holding. Who's holding his knee? But I think a lot of credit has got to go to Herrera for that goal. A lot of well, credit. Well, he got the equaliser against South. I know, I've never really yeah, understood just, just why Herrera doesn't start for United more because what you what you're never going to get with Herrera, and I think he's he's twice as quick as Matic. He's better on the ball than Matic. He puts more tackles in than Matic. He also will always give his all, unlike you know. Pogba gets that levelled at him. I just I don't understand why Herrera doesn't start for United every week. No, no, not why. Right. I mean, the obvious thing is he's not tall enough. <laughs> but I think he is about six foot, you know. Yeah. Yeah, he's not. He's not. He's not that small. But I don't know. So a funny watch. game. Uh, lucky goal for Arsenal because, <clears throat> but they were United had, you know, for some reason dropped dropped the pressing. United equalising pretty much straight away, which is good. And now we've still got 10 minutes to half time. So let's see what happens in this next 10 minutes because it's... Um, Arsenal are going to have to make a defensive substitution, which is good for United because that will stop them making uh, all attacking subs. And uh, ooh, Eric Bay, you've got to be careful there, flying yeah. in. They've got a 2v2. Rash, corner rash again. I don't think Ramsey took advantage of that. No. no. Definitely not. Could have been trouble again for United there. Bay making a rash decision, but, you know, again, I'll go back to it. He's not match fit. You know? He's going to be a couple of yards off the pace. Right, United got to be careful on this corner. They scored from the last one. So, holdings off and... That Lichtenstein uh, fella looks like he's coming on. They're down to 10 men at the moment. Yeah. I mean, is that good? I mean, Lichtenstein ain't the quickest, is he? No, so, no, it could be good, good, it, good for United. Yeah. be interesting to see where he goes at the centre-back position or straight out to the right-back where he normally plays. I mean, if he goes out right back, right back, Martial should have a field day against him out there. See, we're pressing again now. It's, it's, we, uh, we clearly can't press for 45 minutes, can we? No, but it's the same situation, Mark. We've got to go a goal down. You know, we go a goal down and then we start playing football again. Yeah, it's the urgency, isn't it? But we, yeah. we, we, we see that all the time. But it just seems to be the standard thing with United these days, you know. Try and keep possession in the first 15, 20 minutes. Hopefully we don't go gold down. If we do, then we start playing football. Looks like a nasty injury for that holding fella for Arsenal anyway, because he's off on a stretcher. Yeah. 10 minutes to half-time. Uh, Arsenal back up to 10 men now, and they have been, they have been playing with 10 men, for, 10 men for a couple of minutes, to be fair. Yeah. They want to get that lick inside on ASAP. Yeah, he's on now. I mean, United should have been looking to get hold of that ball and play it quickly. 
Arsenal down. Well, maybe that's why we were pressing because they were down to 10 men. Mm. Uh, Great show, Mark. True voice of the fans from Berry, says James Brownson. Thanks for the contribution, pal. Um, Remember to subscribe if you're new, bottom right hand corner. Uh, We're closing in on 310,000 subscribers. 1 1 at the moment. Very mixed half. I think Arsenal fortuitous to have a goal, but United responding like they tend to respond when they go 1 0 down. Um, I think we've got a corner here or a free kick. And it's going to be a free kick and a yellow card. Yellow card on uh, Bellerin, I think. No, it's I not. I think Arsenal, Arsenal will be lucky now just to get to half time and um, regroup. Mustafi yellow card. Definitely was a yellow card as well. It's a scissor yeah. tackle and it's uh, nowhere near the ball. I don't think you can have any complaints about that. Yeah. Cameron says United are going to win. I tell you what, I'm starting to... I said before, I, my prediction was I, I, I thought United would win. Not Logically, Arsenal should win. But I just thought, I bet United will win this game. And um, I think the way it's going at the moment, Arsenal have lost their centre-back. They just seem they just seem very weak at the back, which is something somebody said to me about Arsenal anyway. Yeah, I think now Lichtenstein has come on, they, it's only weakened them even, even more, as far as I'm concerned. You know, he's not he's not the quickest right back. I mean, he's got plenty of experience, but um, uh, we should have done a lot. But oh, ref, he's going to get booked there. Herrera, Rojo, he's very late. But again, that's the rashness. Be a Bobby. yellow card. Yeah. Well, I mean, so far, you know, should have done better there from Rojo. Anyway, the 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 cut back from the free kick was very clever. He's on the edge of the box. He's actually on the edge of the box, unopposed. And yeah. um Oh god, that's a nasty tackle by Rojo. It's, it's a yellow card, it's a similar one yeah, to the one definitely. on Rashford. Definitely. Ross did say Rojo will get a red card though, so let's yeah. ho- let's hope that doesn't come <laughs> true. Um the Mert says Herrera is one of our best and completely underrated. He should be starting every game agree. Yeah, mate, I don't understand why we don't pick him. I really don't. Nasty tackle by Rojo. Very light. I don't think it was a red card. I don't. I think it was very, very, very similar to the Mustafi tackle on Rash on uh, Rashford. Yeah. I say, well, seeing the replay, mate, could have broke his ankle. Yeah, I know. I think. I think it was a similar. It was a similar tackle though. It just just hurt the player more. Arsenal are going down like jelly babies at the moment, and I didn't think they were like that under Emery. I think Lingard's going to get booked here. He's had too many tackles like that. I think Lingard's trying to act... Um, I saw Lingard against Palace and I really liked it. Really liked his tenacity. But I think he needs to tone it down a bit. He keeps leaving his fit at foot in. And he did it against Palace as well. I can't remember if he got booked against Palace. But he's he is really good. I like Lingard in that position. He's really tenacious. He gets after it. But he's just a little bit reckless. And now he kills that part of his game because he's on the yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Ro- Rojo never gets red cards anyway, does he? <laughs> I can't remember he did it two games in a row, red card tackles and never gets sent yeah. off. Yeah, that was uh, that was a way, a way to someone, wasn't it? it was well? e- one was Everton. Yeah, he, uh, hellacious tackle just outside the box, I remember that. Could have been a leg break of that tackle he did that day. Rashford's done. I like Rashford up front. I think Rashford should play up front every game. Sod Lukaku. Rashford just brings so much more, I think, to United's play. Um, it's the speed, isn't it? Yeah. You know, United have to play football instead of lumping it long. Oh, like I'm getting a bit fed up with all these fouls now. I think people are just taking tumbles for yellow cards. Yeah. Oh, I've, I have to watch this back, but Darmian goes down like he's been shot. Getting uh, a bit petty now. He's, he's even clutching the wrong bit of his leg. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing there. Absolutely, that is a disgrace from Darmian. And Bell- Bellerin gets booked as well. He didn't touch him. Uh, we're gonna, I think we're going to see a red card in this game. Yeah. I just hope yeah, it's one of fast. Arsenal players. AJ Malone says that the ref has not controlled the game from the start and now he's, um, he's losing control of it. Yeah. It's a shame because the game has been really lively for... 38, 39 minutes. Just from the last couple of minutes, it's it's almost like 
it reminds me of the um, El Clasico game. You get a lot of fouls in that, don't you? Yeah. Uh, well, it, to be honest, it plays into our hands, though, because Arsenal are a better footballing team than us. So if it gets ooh, physical, yeah. I think that suits us better that it's physical uh, and scrappy. You know it now, hopefully. Yeah, we get to half time and it's 1 1. Um, I think Mourinho can take a bit of confidence from it. Yeah, terrible pass by Herrera, yeah. that. Abamyang. He's going to have to book him there. He's going to have to book Matic. See, this is it now. How yeah. many cards? He's given out more cards than bloody Christmas. He thinks <laughs> it's bloody Christmas. Yeah, I mean, that's what's that two out of three midfielders we've got booked. You know, we've got Defender booked as well. Yeah, this... Um, I think Ross could be right, you know. I think there could be a sending off here. I think it's I think it's a race to a sending off, isn't it? And I think the first sending off will be the key to the game at the moment because they've got a few, we've got a few. I mean, I suppose the advantage is that we're doing more of the attacking at the moment, so I mean Matic's foul is it's literally just take yeah, a cynical one, isn't it? He's, he's taken one for the team there. He knew he knew the back line was in trouble. But um you know, it's He's walking a tightrope now because we know he's quite lazy in his tackling. See, Rojo there had me really worried. I thought he was going to come yeah. through him. Yeah. In another play, you just don't know what he's going to do. Oh, the diving's getting on my tits now. Uh, Rob G says, Jizzed referee. <laughs> See, Matic has gone down there. And Torreira doesn't... Oh, he does. Oh, he does. I, yeah. I, I put, put he, does he actually yeah. stamps on his ankle. That should be a yellow. Mm. So why is he not booking... Torreira should be booked there. And if he gets booked, he's, yes. he's there Kante. That's massive for us. Yeah, it's... Um... Turning into a bit of a touchy game now. He's definitely caught him on the ankle. I think Aaron Ramsey injures himself uh, trying to do Matic. Yeah, so there we go. Mm. Well, this match is bullshit, says Adyan. And um, well, we've, had, we've had a lot of injuries to Arsenal. We've yeah. had a lot of yellow cards. And we're nearly at half time, and it's 1 1. It's never got going this game, I don't think. David Spicer says, What a game. <clears throat> It's getting very fiery. Yeah. Very fiery. I mean, Pogba, the opening, sorry. Oh, AR says opening. who scored. Uh, Martial for United and it was a dodgy goal for Arsenal. I don't even know. De Gea, really. It's an own goal, I think. George Hunty, you've said this a few times. We win Jose out, we lose Jose in. It's as simple as that. I think you've got it the wrong way around. Quite surprised Torreira got away with that one, actually. Yeah, that, that was a yellow card, Torreira. Mm. You know, he's given out so many yellow cards. I think he just didn't want to give one out, but it was definitely a yellow card that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah my my thoughts point. on the half is that Arsenal have been pretty crap, and we've had we've not created enough chances to be honest. Yeah, I think for me, um, first 15, 20 minutes we started off really well with very little reward we had possession but we just didn't do enough with it in the final third Arsenal got their tails up by Herrera there yeah now Arsenal got their tails up because of the uh, the lucky goal but United did Darmian actually but United did fantastically well to, to come back from it I mean it only took a couple of minutes yeah and to be honest it was Martial who won the free kick as well yeah so, you know, that's that, it's that individualism again, isn't it? You know, it was a run from Martial, really. Uh, I think he went past two or three players, gets fouled. Free kick, Rashford. I think the I think the wetness causes the keeper a problem. He should be tipping it round for a corner. It stays in. Herrera's active like he always is, cut back, and then Martial's there to pass it home. 
Um, and I, I do, I, I agree with a lot of people who are saying United will win this. I just think at the moment, um, it, the game suits us. It's very scrappy. It's very physical. And I don't think that suits Arsenal. I think that suits us. If this turns into a football game, I think we're in problems. I think, you know, yeah. if, if it was a, if it wasn't a wet night in Manchester and it was a nice dry evening and uh, on a nice carpet, I think, uh, Arsenal are the better footballing side, but I think this is a great lever. It's a bit like when Arsenal used to go up to Stoke, isn't it? You know. Yeah. 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 I do worry for the second half, though. I mean, you know, quite a few comments tonight have said that Arsenal are the second half team, mm. and we know how we come out and play in the second half. <laughs> so it's going to be a really interesting, you know, forty-five minutes. But um, yeah, I, th- I think there are there have been. A couple of danger signs where they've got in down the low side, and now really what they should be doing is going through Rojo, seeing as he's on a yellow card. I mean, Darmian's a weak point as well, over at you know left wing back or left back wherever he's playing. Um, I don't know. I'm just I'm just still not convinced. I mean, I've seen Mkhitaryan warming up, so I would expect him in the second half. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what Arsenal will do actually in this second half because um... oh Herrera, I, I don't like our players trying to get people booked. Yeah, and Herrera's always been bad at that. It's a Spanish thing, isn't it? Yeah, unfortunately. Then again, if you get one of them sent off, it's an advantage, isn't it? It's like winning a penalty. Um, and he's blown for half time, so there we are. It's uh, it is it is half time, and a, and a very very uh, very weird half, I would say. Um, United started off really well, I thought, uh, really really well, um, without creating anything. I mean, there was a long shot from Rashford, um, but. We pressed well for 15 minutes and then we stopped pressing for for 15 minutes. And in that time, Arsenal were the better team on the ball. Again, not really great. I don't think any team has created a decent chance, actually. Uh, Got a corner, cross comes in, free header, heads it down. Should be meat and veg for for De Gea. Easy catch. And uh, slips through his hands. The Herrera can't stop it before it's gone over the line. We're 1-0 down. Then, typically, United respond like we always do. A little bit of a run from Martial. Fouled on the edge of the box. Uh, I think it was Rojo who actually hits it low. Uh, Leno doesn't get, palms it to his side, doesn't get it out. Herrera is there to cut it back. I think still Arsenal players should get it clear, but it falls for Martial, who uh, taps it home from the edge of the six-yard box, and then it's 1-1. And then I think, you know, it's like, what's going to happen in the final 10 minutes and a half? Well, you know, uh, Andre Marin are giving out his Christmas cards, and they're all yellow. Just loads and loads of cards <laughs> being given out. So, um, you know, wet pitch. I think there are a lot of fouls because the players are struggling uh, to make their tackles. So, you know, I, I think this could be a battle to who gets the red card first. And then if you get the wet red card, then, you know, it's advantage the other side. But um, that's my that's my thought on it. I have got this feeling, Marcus, and everybody at home, I have got this feeling that Manchester United might win this game. Um, don't ask me why. I, I, I just think that... You know, Arsenal haven't come and been this team that maybe some people thought we would, that maybe we thought we would. And to be fair, listening to the Arsenal fan TV lads, they were a little bit concerned. Maybe it's the 24 hours. Maybe it's the wet. Maybe it's the voodoo of Old Trafford. But if I was United, and I am United, I'd be thinking that game's there to be won. We've got to go and win it, you know. All right, before it, we were a little bit worried. Arsenal are in a better position than us. But having played that 45 minutes, I think we've, we've we've got to try and do what we were doing in the first 15 minutes and, and try and create some more chances because I think that Arsenal team is there to be beat. And maybe they miss Xhaka and, you know, they're missing uh, one of their centre-backs now. Um, but I, I, think they're, I think they're there to be beat, Marcus. I really do. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to say I, I think this game can go you know, both ways, to be honest. I, I think probably now the one goal would win it. If there is going to be the one goal, who it's going to be too, I still I still fancy Arsenal in the second half. Um, yeah, I really do. Horrible. They're um, you know they're a second half team. As I said earlier, we know how we come out and play in the second half. Jose's half times team talks can't be that inspiring. Um, 
And in typical Jose fashion, you look at the bench and Fellaini, Lukaku, McTominay, you fancy a couple of them to come on in the second half, which is just going to completely slow us down and do the complete opposite of what we did in the first 15, 20 minutes. So, uh, you know, we can get it. I mean, again, the goal has not come, it's come from a set play. Um, but again, you know, even in open play, we've not offered much going forward at all. I can only think of the Rashford and the Martial chances in the first half. But when Arsenal pressed and Arsenal got in behind our back three, they did look dangerous with the balls across the box. And Aubameyang has been very, very quiet, almost non-existent in that first half. Yeah. So I'd, I'd fancy him to come alive in the second half as well. Well, to be honest with you, I said this during the game for people who join us half time. Um, and remember, we've got the call in after the game. Uh, we will be doing a call in, so join us straight after the match as well. Um, I've always we've not done it loads, but I've always said that the three five two formation suits United under Mourinho best. And Mourinho, like many things that are best for him, ignores it. Um, tonight we're playing the three five two, and it suits United best. And I've always I remember saying this last year. This. Before, probably about 14 months ago, I remember us playing it against CSK Moscow away or someone like that. Um, and I think we used it against Watford. And I think we used it um, against Arsenal at the Emirates. Yeah. 3-5-2 <coughs> is cheating because you get the width from your wing backs, You get plenty of men in the midfield so you don't get dominated. And you get two up front. And you've got three centre-backs. It's almost like a way of cheating to, to get everything you need if you play it right. And I always think United play better with the 3-5-2. So on top of that, you've got Rojo's naturally left-footed for the left-hand side. You've got Bay right-footed for the right-hand side. Smalling's doing okay. Um, so I, I like the system. And I think um, Herrera is making Matic better because Herrera and Pogba and Pogba and Matic doesn't work. So Herrera and Matic works because Herrera... Is, is so energetic. Lingard, I, lo- I mean, he's on the yellow card, he's better be careful, but I like Lingard's energy. And then Martial and Rashford, if you can get the ball to them, they, they're they always capable of doing something. So the lineup's fine. Obviously, it's what Damian out for sure. Um, but I, I, I like the formation. I just, as, as we were saying in that first 15 minutes when United were pressing so much, we're like, why do we never do it? Why do we never play that way? Um, because there, there is only one man responsible for that, and he's the manager of Manchester United. I, I, I was at the Palace game. I was at the Wolves game. I've watched all the games as well. And we never, ever at Old Trafford, this first 10 minutes, get after teams like we did against Arsenal. And today there was a deliberate effort to get after them. Now, the bad thing is we created sod all, but we did get after them. Um, and it's a real shame that we don't do that enough because the crowd will respond to it. Um, but I think we've got to do that in the second half, Marcus. Arsenal are a second half team. I, I, I said when their team news came out, I think they've gone a little bit defensive. And I think we've seen that in their performance today. I personally think they should have played Lacazette and Aubameyang because we've nullified Aubameyang and they're struggling in the final third with a bit of flair. But I think you've got it. I've got to get after them. I mean, Paul Robinson saying that Herrera offers absolutely nothing. I'd have to agree with you on that, disagree with you on that, Paul. I think Herrera has offered energy and tenacity, which we get from nobody in our midfield. No, I mean when you look at when you think of Herrera, you think of energy and you know your favourite word tenacious, and you know he's he's a very good um, ball playing centre midfielder. He he likes to pass the ball forward. He keeps his head up. He doesn't take four or five touches on the ball, um, and he's quite quick at moving it from back to front. So Matic, I think, has been you know he's 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 done okay in the first half, but he's not um, he's not overly like done anything major to, to warrant being called out or anything like that but I mean the second half United have got to put that first 15-20 minute performance in the first half they've got to do that for the 45 minutes in the second half because if they bring on the Mkhitaryans the Lacazettes I can only see United dropping further and further back and sitting deeper and deeper because Mourinho will want to defend the 1-1 um, he'll want the point he won't want to come away from this game empty handed so, I mean, that's my fear. I mean, I'm just seeing the stats now. You know, Arsenal have had more passes, 224. Um, they've got better park passing accuracy than us, 83 or 81. Um, you know, and it's just, you know, our player who's had the most touches has been Matic with 43. It's, you know, it's 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 not right. It's 
we shouldn't be seeing that sort of stuff at Old Trafford. Really shouldn't. We should be on the front for from minute one to minute ninety, and that's the way it should always be. But you know, the second half is going to be a really interesting second half because Arsenal are a second half team, and we know how shit we are as as a second half team. Would you so, make any changes? Would you be considering Pogba yet? Um, do you know what? I, I think I would, to be honest. I, I really do. Um, it would never happen, but I would take Matic off. Um, purely because of how slow he's making our midfield. He's on a yellow card. And I think Herrera and Lingard have done pretty well in that midfield three. So I would sacrifice Matic, get Pogba on, put Herrera where Matic is playing. And you know, hopefully that would counteract then when Arsenal bring on Mkhitaryan. I mean, you'd allowed... I mean, everyone knows what Mkhitaryan does. He was at United, you know. So, I, I think that would probably work in our favour. Mm. I'll, I'll be interesting to see... Um, be interested to see if they do... Um, what was I going to say? I'd be interested to see if they do bring him on. I personally don't think they'll bring Mkhitaryan on for that reason that you just said there, that he's, um, he's a bit of a... You know, he might have a bit of a... You know, we saw him at United. He's a bit of a... Uh, mental, mentally wise I don't know whether he'll be able to deal with it but I certainly I'd be worried if they got um, if they got Lacazette on I think he's a, a player that um, could cause some problems well, you, if you think about the players that Mourinho's gotten rid of um, you know and one that stands out for me is Depay I know you say it's a pub league and everything else but you just look at how well these players are that he's got rid of how well they're doing or what they have done no matter what league it is, no matter what team it is, they've just been absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, Depay is doing well out there. Um, you know, there's Mkhitaryan, he's done okay at Arsenal. Um, he's certainly done better than Sanchez at United, I would say. And you would you would think that that really, Lacazette and Mkhitaryan are the game changers for Arsenal. Sort of like your FIFA thing when you bring on Sterling and Mertens. Yeah. You know, it's it's the game changers for Arsenal. You look on our bench and you think, what are our game changers? Certainly not Luk- Lukaku. Certainly not McTominay. And the only one on there really is Pogba. Um, yeah. I, know, I, who... I, 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 I agree with you. I, I, I would like to see Herrera playing with Pogba because mm. I think Herrera, I don't think Matic has had a good game, but I don't think we've noticed how crap Matic is today. Um, mm. So if Herrera can make Matic half decent, then I think that, imagine what he could do with Pogba. I think Herrera and Pogba would be a really, really good uh, pairing, but yeah. it, you know that would mean removing Matic, which would be like Mourinho removing his head. He's just never going to yeah. do it. So, um, but but you know, Matic is a passenger. He's been a passenger for eight months. I don't think he's had a very terrible game today. But tell me what he's done that's been good. You know, I don't, I don't think you, what what is the point? I think if you're gonna the one thing I would say about the three five two. Is if you're playing three centre backs, why do you need a CDM as well? The midfield is in front of it. When you play a three-five-two, your midfielders should all be box to box and dynamic. You don't yeah. need a CDM as well as three centre backs at home. And I don't think Matic has done massively anything wrong, but I don't think he's contributing to the to the, to what is a very good formation for us. I think if you play a three-five-two, you don't play a CDM. You you play box to box. You play you play your Herreras, you play your Pogbas, you play your Freds. Um, but you don't need Matic today. Um, but, no. you know, as I said, he'll remove his head before he removes Matic. So there we go. I mean, yeah, the substitutions in the second half, you'll, you'll be able to tell from both managers, you know, whether they want to win the game or whether they're quite happy with what they've got at the minute. Well, 100% um, we're going to see Lukaku. We might see Lukaku as early as, you know, maybe even as early as 60 minutes. Um, yeah. because that's what he did was it against Everton when he when he dropped him he, he couldn't get him on quick enough and mm. I certainly think Rashford I like Rashford up front you know it's going to be a learning curve with him I accept that I don't think we're getting top four even if we win tonight so I would just keep playing Rashford till the end of the season keep playing him every week up front I'm happy with that and and Martial's got to play because Mar- the one thing Martial does he scores goals like he scored tonight you know it's an art form yeah. you know he scored loads of goals Martial will score goals but I think we will see Lukaku because we always see Lukaku. Um... Well, I mean, for me, I, I hope we don't because I think the movement off the ball that Martial and Rashford do as that front two pairing, I think has been pretty good in that first half. You know, they've 
they've come down the channels, they've looked for the ball, they've pulled back and defended when they've had to, and they've got pace to burn. You've just got to give them the ball. I mean, you chuck Lukaku into that team now, the way we're playing, it's long ball because he doesn't move. He's so static. He'll come out wide and look for the ball and we'll have no one in the centre. We'll have no runners going behind him. Um, so I, I think, uh, I totally agree with you. I think you will bring him on at some point, but it's not the right option. Definitely not the right option. Um, I'm just trying to think who else is on the bench. Fellaini. Yeah, you've got Mata. Mata, McTominay, Valencia. Yeah, I don't really want to see any of them. I mean, if we got no. in front, if we get in front, I think you'd see Fellaini. Maybe shut the shot, shop up. Or if we're behind, you might see Fellaini because he did it last year against Arsenal, didn't he? He scored that, uh, what was what was the winner at that time. But I think I think you know I don't I don't think there's any excuses. I think you, this this game is winnable if you're brave enough, and I think United have got to go for it. I know Mourinho's our manager, and I know a lot of people don't want Mourinho as the manager, and I certainly don't want Mourinho as the manager. But I think the the game is is winnable, and I think we've got to go and win it. Um, and for me, Arsenal have not been as good as they were at the weekend, and maybe that's I I know I don't know. Maybe it's the voodoo, maybe it's the they're less than 24 hours. Maybe it's the effort they put into the uh, to the Tottenham game. Uh, well, Liverpool are losing to Burnley at the moment, which yeah. is uh, that would be a shit result for Liverpool because Burnley are absolutely terrible. Uh, Fulham winning again. I mean, they're much improved, and we're playing them on Saturday. And uh, Wolves drawing with Chelsea. So some interesting results going on at yeah. the moment. I think the key word that you used there is brave. Um, you know, can any of us really see Mourinho making a brave tactical decision to win the game? No, not in my eyes. Well, Mkhitaryan's um, on, Marcus, which yeah, is uh, quite an is interesting one. Quite an interesting yeah. one, that, because I, I wouldn't have thought they would do that. Um, I well, don't I mean, that... think that this is the sort of game for Mkhitaryan, which, again, Aaron Ramsey's obviously had the knock, so maybe it's through injury. Um, you know, I don't know what Arsenal's bench is, but he could have quite easily brought on someone else just to shore up the midfield, not an attacking player. Um you know, Mkhitaryan's been in some good form for Arsenal lately. So it'll be interesting now. I mean, obviously Emery thinks this game, like you just said, is, is there to be won. He's made the first change. He's shown his cards first and he okay. decided he, he's going to go for it. Or, fairness, or, or, to be honest, I think maybe Mark Ramsey was injured. But they, they, they would have had other options there, so... No, he's I think from Arsenal's first. point of view, they probably just want to get hold of the ball a bit in the final third. Yeah, it's going to be a very interesting second half. Very it's, Again, it's the two opposites here, the complete opposites. You've got an attacking team in the second half in Arsenal and you've got a defensive team in United, traditionally. So, Well, I, we can't be that. No, we can't. No, we can't. I mean, not only can we not be that, we just cannot afford to do that anymore. Um, you know, as it stands at the minute, we're nine points off with this result being a draw. Uh, yes. Yeah, and yes. you think with the other results, as they are at the minute, um, could really certainly do with a win tonight to close the gap. I mean, to be honest with you, if we get a draw, there will be, because this is what happens with some United fans, and it used to happen with Arsenal fans with anger as well. If we get a draw, there'll, there'll be some fans going, well, we can build on that. It's no. too late to be building on that. It will be will be maybe 9, 10, maybe even 11 points off fourth, even if we draw. You can't build on that. You, we've got to win. We, we, there's, no, there's, no, there's no building left. We've, we've got to win this game today. Um and I know people will say, well, we can sack Mourinho if we lose, but the slimmest of hopes of getting top four probably do rely on us um, keeping Mourinho, as much as I hate to say that. Yeah, I mean, already. And he'd have to, he'd have to win this. You might as well watch I'm a Celeb, says James Perry. Yeah, I'm not that <laughs> desperate. I, I'm, not, I'm never going to not watch a United-Arsenal game, really, to be honest with you. Um... And so far... It's all Arsenal for me at the minute. Bellerin is getting much more further forward than he did in the first half. 
Uh, Omar's right. We spoke about it in the first half. Liverpool have already equalised. They'll go on and win that now. That's typical, isn't it? But I don't know why we're worried about Liverpool. We won't. We'll, we were never going to catch Liverpool anyway. Um, but yes, Arsenal. Are, Arsenal have traditionally this season been a very, very decent second half team. But maybe United are going to have a good half this. I don't. I don't think we can say United's first half was great. I don't. I think it was mixed. So maybe we can have a good second half. Yeah. Um... But we haven't already, started it. We haven't started it well. No, we started the second half like we normally do. Laid, laid back, hoping for the best. And again, I go back to what the hell does this guy say at half time to these players? Well, I I wanted us to come out in the second half and uh, press a bit. To be fair, um, because that's He's, that's what you should do. Wolves are beating yeah. Chelsea two one. But Arsenal picking up all the 50-50s now. It's like their gameplay has completely changed with Mkhitaryan on. Or Bamiang's got a bit of support now behind him. Spurs are winning 2-0. I'd have to have a look at the league. Because uh, obviously it's going to change a lot over the evening. But if Chelsea did lose, before we get excited, Chelsea on 31 points. We're on... Yeah, so if Chelsea did lose and we drew, we'd still be eight points off four. There you go. It's, it's a huge gap there. It really is. When you look at it, look at the fixtures over Christmas, you know, you don't see Chelsea dropping many. You know, and can United be consistent enough to go on a winning run? What are we doing here? Talking to each other to play a five-yard pass. Yeah. So it's weird. What are we doing? You get some bloody intensity into your game. Spurs winning two nil. Uh, Mora. Well, this, well, it could be a short-term thing for Arsenal because they they may well have beat Spurs on Sunday, but they could be behind them again tonight. If they don't win, they will be. Here we go. Rashford. Oh, bad first touch. But yeah, even the passing from United is just slow. It really is slow. Um, and then you get an aimless crossfield pass from Rojo. It's absolutely nowhere near the lot. You're very negative tonight, Marcus. You know, I remember. Oh, yeah, you, right, I remember yeah. you used to be positive, Mr. Yeah. Positive. You were, Mr. Fellaini, and everything's good. And the last couple of games, you've been right negative. Well, I can only say what I see, and I'm not impressed with what I see at all. You know, I'm, I get absolutely sick and tired of being being able to like say what's going to happen in the games. You know, you can you you can even he's that predictable. You well, can even go. pick substitutions. Rashford, ooh, corner. Yeah. <sighs> the first bit of decent play from United in the first half. Corner, Second Rashford. Half Punch it at it. Anyone want to have a shot? Have a dip. Have a shot. Have a shot. It's a good cross by the low. Yeah. Oh, Bay took it off the foot of Martial and it's a throw in to Arsenal. You need to shout him. At, you need to shout Martial. Again, the run in behind leading up to that oh, corner outside, from Rashford. Anyway. The linesman's shite there. That's terrible from the linesman. We benefit. You know, that 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 is exactly why you don't want to bring Lukaku on. Lukaku just won't run in behind like Rashford or Martial does. And we're much more threatened in playing like this than what we do with having him come on. Yeah, to be honest, I look at I look at every substitution we've got about apart from Paul Pogba, McTominay, Fellaini, Mata, Lukaku, and it's just going to slow us down. Yeah. 
And we need to, you know, against a team like Arsenal, you've got to keep that intensity. I mean, it annoy, well, it doesn't annoy me. It can, if I question why we've not done what we did in the first 10 minutes again. You know, that they were in a right mess the first 10 minutes. Yep. And, you know, it's, it's the oldest bloody lesson in the book. But you, if, if you're going to press, you've got to press at a team, as a team. And I think there are some United pre- players pressing. Oh, we were nearly in there. I thought Martial yeah. was going to go down. But see, Arsenal, again, are, uh, their passing's terrible. And, and it's sort of going a little bit our way at the moment. But we've just got to use the ball a little bit better. I mean, Martial's in here. Nice little pass by Lingard. And... I don't think he could go down really. Martial definitely would if he could. It's good to see Tyson Fury looking well after his fight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Another Arsenal player down injured. Certainly the weather's not helping it as a spectacle. Spurs are winning 3 0. Dante Rowe says, I don't know why, but Eric Bay brings me so much joy. Just... See these players go down all the bloody time. Get up, come on. I, I, I think uh, Unheard Gull says saying there how many times have we given the ball away Arsenal have been the same I, I, th- I don't think it's a very easy pitch it is raining isn't it it's very wet and uh, I think it's a, I, don't, I think it, as, a, as, a, as a match it's probably been quite good Liverpool are 2-1 up now for Mino I, I mean Burnley are crap if, they, if they'd lost or even drew there that would have been a, a terrible result for Liverpool I mean even we, we won comfortably there but this game has gone very much like the first half, really. Oh, bay has got to have the pace over Aubameyang, and he does. What brilliant defending there. I mean, <clears> you've <throat> got to question why Bay doesn't get picked for United when he's doing things like that against Aubameyang. Absolutely superb. I mean, would you say, Mark, overall, we've looked better with Pogba? Without Pogba? I just saw a comment mention that. It was from Alan Sidorn. You said you know it looked good without Popper. No, I don't agree. No? I don't agree because Matic has been shit. So you know you could put Pogba in that position and we'd be a lot better. I think the the midfield is certainly lacking in the second half now. It's it's starting to show. Well, you can see that just from the long balls by Smalling and Rojo, which just absolutely bypassing the midfield now. Well, to be honest with you, I think mo- if we didn't have Eric Bay playing tonight, 100% Aubameyang would have been one-on-one then because the, the the weight of the pass, the speed that Aubameyang's got running onto it, he'd have been away. Yeah. And how oh, is that onside? Get the ball in, get it in! Come on. Oh, what a, what a waste. Waste, yeah. I don't know how he was on side, but the, the ball to Martial should have been instant. Absolutely instant. And he is on side. Yeah. That's the ball now. Play it now. Just get it across. Whip it across. It takes too long. Opportunity's gone. But yeah, that chance where Aubameyang is up against Bay and he's actually got a yard on him, really. He's got the momentum and Bay gets back. I mean, that's there's not many people... In our, I mean, imagine that's Phil Jones or Rojo. Or, or oh, no, Small, yeah. I mean, Smalling's quite big, but that, I mean, Eric Bay stops a one-on-one there, hundred percent. And I, I just question why we don't, why he's not been playing as much because he's our best defender. United have got the momentum now. We've got to start making some chances because nothing is sticking for Arsenal. They've been poor. They've been really poor, Arsenal. They have, yeah, they have. I mean, when when they have come forward, though, they do look dangerous. That threat is always there. Um, you know, you can't count them out. See, Torreira's all over Matic like a fly around shit there because he knows Matic takes about 50 touches. I mean, Matic is getting the fouls, but they ain't stupid, are they? No. 
we have got to take advantage of this because we're on the up. We're on the up. Without creating anything, we're on the up. About half an hour, no, just over half an hour left, 30, yeah. 33 minutes. So, you know, I thought Arsenal started the half quite well, but United now have got the momentum in this. But again, we're not, we're not creating anything. We got the tenacity. We got the ball. Now, now, now let's start making some chances because this is the problem. This is what I talk about on the, uh, all the time, though, with United. This is the manager that we've got. Even with the tenacity, we haven't got the flair. I mean, Martial's in the left back position at the moment. Yep. He's now in the centre back position. <sighs> and that, and, just... and Rashford's coming deep as well. It's like, yeah, we're getting loads of the ball, but where's the bloody chances? There's no end product to our play whatsoever. Definitely the better team. We're just quite happy keeping possession at the minute. There's no threat from United at all. Good. Sh well, it's not even a good shot from Rojo. I don't know why Leno tips it over the bar, to be honest. I mean, if that's... So we've had, like, two minutes of good possession there to shoot, to shoot from 35 yards out. Yeah. It's a joke. I mean, we've got a corner, but... I, wa I want to see United, with this possession, create chances like Liverpool and City and Spurs do. You know, loads of chances. Have their keeper making saves. Well, you know what's going to happen. The big men will come on, mate, and we'll lump it long. I think, that, I think that's what we'll have to do. Yeah. Yeah, Mourinho's going to be looking at this and thinking, right... The runs from Rashford and Martial, they're having to drop too deep now. They're not getting in behind the back line. I don't know what we're looking for a penalty there. It would uh. be very, 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 very lucky for us. But um, as long as Arsenal can't string any passes together, I think we're, we'll be all right. I think we're looking for that penalty there. Defensively, we've looked a lot better today, and I think that's been helped massively by Eric Bay and Marcus Rojo. Yeah, and it's surprising actually because I did say for the game they're not even, they're not even match fit. No. So you know, chucking them into a game of this magnitude is was quite surprising for me. United you know, start um, starting to sit off again. Arsenal are coming back into it. They're getting the ball again. They're, they're playing it. They're trying to work the space. Well, we forced them back to the keeper there, which yeah. pleased the fans. Yeah. Fellaini has saved the day. Is it MUFC Gamer? Chelsea just levelled up 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> uh, Alec... Duckers says Rashford are so bad in corners. Why does he continue to take them? Yeah. It's, I tell you what, it's an intriguing game. Hmm. Because I it think is. both teams are sort of as bad as we as each other in losing the ball, and you just don't feel it's going to stay one-one. I, I I see I can see a goal, but then you'd think that that Arsenal. Good catch by De Gea, please. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't know which way this game is going to turn. I think Arsenal look a lot more dangerous in the final third, but they're going to because they've scored a lot more goals and they're a lot higher up in the league than us. And I think United look the better team, but we just don't seem to be able to craft uh, chances, which again is typical because um, that's Arsenal. <coughs> that's what we're like. Marcus, I'm just going to quickly leg it for a piss because yeah, one, they're... Yeah. Um, they're just having a drinks break themselves. One minute. Yeah, 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 go on. Uh, how's the lot playing? Says James Flynn. I think the lot's been okay, actually. I mean, considering he's been chucked in at the deep end, I, I think he's done okay tonight. Um, come on, United, says Brandon. All we need is Pogba to ping the passes through, says Mike Treble 7. I think that's what we're missing. I do think that's what we're missing. Just someone to get hold of the ball in the midfield and just spread the play a bit quicker. I see Lacazette's coming on. 
at the minute. Um, oh, yeah, so if you're right. Jared, how are we doing? So Marshall's down, injured. Uh, Mr. First Half, how was it? Says Hart. Well, a mistake by De Gea led to Arsenal being 1 0 up, and then literally minutes later, United equalised through Martial. Um, but first half was, it was okay from United's point of view. First 15, 20 minutes, we played quite well. Um, then Arsenal got into the game and I wouldn't say took over, but you know, they played their part. Bring on the elephant, says Dennis. Uh, yeah, so far I'm good, yeah. Yeah, so it looks like Martial's had it. And Lukaku's coming. Uh, here we go. All right, Mr. E, how you doing? So, Martial's got off, mate, injured. Really? Yeah. And uh, Lukaku's come on. <laughs> but um, it's a problem with his knee. As soon as the physio went on there, he touched his knee and Martial winced a bit and then, you know, the physio gave the call. He can't carry on. Uh, tactics now will be lump it to the Lukaku. <laughs> and uh, they're bringing on Lacazette. <laughs> yes, Lacazette. I, I think I think I think Arsenal have won that substitution battle. Yeah, I mean this is it now, isn't it? I mean, yeah, we've gone like for like, whereas Arsenal are going to change it up and um, go gun for leather for it. I mean, Emery doesn't look concerned at all on that touchline. I'm not sure who came off for that, is it? I think it was a Wobie, I think. Yeah, it came was. Off. Yeah. And Timberland Boots Lukaku is on, yeah. He'd He's probably lost. win it for it. He'd probably win it for us. Have faith. <laughs> you got to have faith. It was a thigh problem, was it? Oh, okay, I saw, I saw him holding his knee, so I thought it was his knee. Well, you, you, the, the trouble is you wouldn't expect Martial to be back on uh, Saturday, would you? No, no. Hopefully he's just pulled a muscle or something and it's not too serious. thing is, you know what? You're going to get injuries at this time of the season. Mourinho will use it as a reason to moan, but everybody's getting injuries. Everybody's getting injuries. It's, uh... it's that sort of time of year, isn't it? Yeah. I mean... You know, now coming into the Christmas period, you, you know you you just soldier on. I think you push through the pain barrier and um, get through as many games as you can. Um, Hursty says nothing but three points is good enough. I I think that as well. I think it's got to be three points. Can't afford to draw this, to be honest. Ah, uh, you know, a few people are saying, Mark, you've been very positive tonight. And I think that's just because Marcus is so negative. But to yeah, be honest yeah. with you, <laughs> but I, I, I do want to win this game. As I said, I don't want this person coming on later on going, ah, I told you, fucking told you. I don't want that. You know, it matters. You know, you know, there are certain games in the calendar, like Anfield in a couple of weeks, where if somebody says, oh, I'd rather lose and get rid of Mourinho, you're joking. I don't want to ever lose to Liverpool and I don't really want to lose to Arsenal either. Uh, but I agree, it, it is a massively weird situation to be in because I want Mourinho gone. But having said that, and I said it a couple of days ago, it's not really Mourinho's fault anymore. You know, he shouldn't be the manager. That It's the board's fault that he's the manager now, not 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 his. Um, so, you know, the longer this goes on for me, he's on the board. It's not on the. Yeah. It's not on. It's not really on the manager. He well, it is the manager's fault, of course it is. But I mean, we'll time's how, ticking on now. Sixty-six minutes. Well, you see how quick you know Fulham acted and Southampton have acted, you know, and we're quite content to just carry on going the way we're going. Uh, Biggie Third says could be match sharpness, but Delot looks slow. Well, you know, he's got to he's got to play games, hasn't he? He's come back from injury. He's not played in the Premier League before. He's, you know, he's going to asp have aspects to his game that aren't right. It's a bit like Marcus Rashford, isn't it? Um, I mean, Fellaini's warming up. Um, well, we did because I think, I think, I think what he'll be looking at now: don't lose the game. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, em Emery's made attacking changes. It's a goal anyway. Yeah. It's a fucking yeah. goal. There we go. What are we doing? He should, he should be sent off yeah, anyway. Yeah. It was a bloody foul. It was a foul on him. Bloody Rojo's probably going to get sent off. <laughs> well, no, he won't get sent off, I don't no, think. But he's lucky that he's very lucky that this goes in. Who makes yeah. the bloody mistake in the first ta first place? Like a pack of dolphins at the back. We're all at bloody sea. You get yourself in a game, but yet again, we've not created anything. Oh, oh God, no. We won't create anything with any of our possession, but bloody Arsenal do. It's bloody Rojo twice. Yeah. It's bloody yeah. Rojo. What a prat. What a prat. And then he get, he's bloody lucky not to get sent off because that is not a saving tackle, I don't think. I think no. it's a bloody foul on Lacazette. We'll watch it back from here. He either Definitely. gets very close to... Mm, maybe it was a bit of a tackle. It's, it's desperation. A, it's, it's a desperation <laughs> tackle. He does get a bit of the ball. He does... Uh, it, 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 it's the Paul, Paul Lacazette, bloody Eric Bay. Eric Bay's arse lands on his head. I mean, yeah. that's probably why he's injured. It's the same thing. I mean, honestly, can anyone in the comments say that... You know, are, are we actually surprised? No. 2-2! Two, two! We didn't oh. even see the equaliser. Oh. Lingard, Millie Rock, <laughs> do something. Oh no, he's done something else. But what? Uh, it's too tough. What a game! Jesus. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Mourinho is sending Fellaini on because it was two one, and it's two two. And Emery's got his gob open. Oh, we did. Thanks, BT Sports. We didn't even see the fucking equaliser. Yeah. Paying all the money, and you're pissing about doing God knows what. I tell you what, I've been saying that for years. They spend so long showing bloody replays, they don't show the game. And what happens here, it's it's a long ball by Rojo. And I think Lukaku must get it. No, he doesn't. It bounces. It's a mistake. It's defensively error. And Lingard's through. Lukaku does sod all. Don't give him any credit. And it's two. It's just banter. It's banter. 2-2. Two, two. It's a game of pinball. It really is. If we don't win this game, if we don't win this game, I'm going to... I'm going to cry because it's just, it's ridiculous how we keep going behind and we keep coming back into it. I mean, MJ, MJ just said there, it's a kickoff goal in FIFA. <laughs> it's, it, is. it is. It's a FIFA scripting. Yeah, just a long ball. Crazy. Rojo. Crazy game. Well, I mean. Well, Fellaini is still going to come on. Fellaini is still yeah. going to come on. But yeah, I mean, there's a bit of a lack of communication. Oh, that, now. That, that, that's right, pissed me off, that is. You know, the, in the big games, you want to celebrate the goals, and we didn't even get the momentum of it. No. No, didn't even see it, so they were too busy. Bloody focus, BT! Crap! On the tackle. <laughs> they showed, they must have spent three or four minutes showing that goal, yeah. and, and, and we missed the bloody goal. Rubbish! Yeah. yeah. It was a good, it was a good four minutes while them showing that Arsenal goal. We I mean, don't, I mean, yeah. we don't bloody score many. <laughs> it's not like it we're going to get another one. Well, we hopefully we'll get another one, but we don't score many. We certainly don't score many goals straight after they've scored. I mean, that would have been a right release. Mm. Um, I, I was sort of like, oh, has Lingard scored? Yes, he has, because you, we were like, have we took the kick off too quick? Amazing. What a save, De Gea! Oh, what a save! Bloody hell, this game. So, oh, God, get it out. Clear it. Get it out. That save by De Gea is why he's world class. It's, game, it's a game of who can defend the worst as some of it. It's a bloody good game now. De Gea has just made a fantastic save from uh, Aubameyang. United just need to keep the bloody composure. And again, oh. who was that? Mkhitaryan on the front post. We're Jeez. hanging on here. We are hanging on here. De Gea is... De Gea, Dave saves. Bloody hell. Absolutely. What a game this is turning out to be. What a game. I mean, De Gea twice. <laughs> Mkhitaryan as well. Fucking hell. <laughs> this ain't good for the blood pressure. And that save by De Gea is absolutely <laughs> fantastic as well. It's his back foot that saves it. From Aubameyang. Bloody hell. What? So Fellaini's on for... I totally missed it. In amongst the excitement. Not Matic. Not Herrera. It's a change of formation, isn't it? It looks like it might be Darmian. No, Darmian's still on. No, he's still on. Yeah. So maybe we've gone to a, a back four. 
Yeah, we've I think we've gone 4-3-3. Four, three, three, three. Three. So one of the centre-backs, it must be Rojo. Yeah, it's Rojo. Rojo's gone yeah. off, which is probably not a bad thing. Well, I mean, that puts us with Bay and Smalling as the centre-backs again. Another centre-back pairing. Yeah. Well, it look, to be fair, it looks like we're trying to win it because it's a little bit more attacking. Well, it potentially is a little bit more attacking. Yeah. They've gone attacking anyway with Lacazette and Aubameyang up front. Well, Lukaku's won that one. Yeah. I think Lingard was looking for that. Well, fasten your seatbelts. I think we're in for uh, in for a, an interesting last fifteen minutes here. Yeah. Snap says BT should stick to phone cards. Pogba is going to come on as well, so United are going for it. But again, you know, we got we got to concede before we start playing again in the second half. Yeah. Well, yeah, to be honest, you... Arsenal have been the architects of their own downfall, really. I mean, the first goal was all right. The second goal is just calamity. You yeah. know, it's, it's one of the... I mean, I'm, we're grateful. We're grateful, but... Um, good ball out by Fellaini. We've got a 3v3. Look at look at Lukaku on the back, Rashford. Right. Look at Lukaku on the back. Oh, That's too slow. Right. Yeah. It's there to be won, this is. 100%. It is, yeah. I think the next, if any, if there is another goal, I don't think the opposing team is going to be getting up from it. Well, you know what though, that chance is says play on on Torreira. I thought Matic was in trouble there. That saved by um... De Gea's one. Oh yeah. That, yeah, that 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 would that was that's a game saver from De Gea from Aubameyang. That is a game saver. And again, he's just pulled off another one. He's done it again, yeah. <sighs> They're knocking at the door. I think we're going to win this. I think every, I think the ingredients are there that we're going to win it because that save from De Gea, not that one, the one-on-one, the chance from the cross. Yeah. You know, we're not going to win the game from 3-2 down with 15 minutes to go. Lingard's off, Pogba's on, so I don't know whether yeah. that, I would have took Matic off. I think I think you would have done, yeah. I think take off one of the CDMs. I think we're going to win this. I've got a feeling we're going to win it. Um, Chelsea are Chelsea are still losing to Wolves apparently. Somebody said they're drawn. Liverpool no. are beating Burnley, Everton, Newcastle, Leicester and Fulham are drawing, Wolves are beating Chelsea and obviously Spurs are going to win. So whatever happens, it looks like we'll be eight points off fourth. Unless we win, we could be six off fourth. But Arsenal no. aren't uh, giving up either. No, they're not. Definitely not. They're still going for it. They believe they can win it. Emery's on the touchline. Screaming at him with his arms up in the air. He believes they can win it. Just really interesting. I've not seen Mourinho come down to that technical area at all. Which way is it going? Which way is it going to go, everybody? Which way is it going to go? Yeah. Which way is it going to go? Tell us. I mean, certainly Arsenal have had the better chances in the second half. That's why. But, that's why I think we're going to win it. Yeah. You know, it's got that never say die attitude tonight, and they just they come back again. But I, I remember saying this in the Emirates as well, though. It's like I remember all DT and that, and they were like, "Oh, you were so lucky to win. We had so many chances." And yeah, you did. You did. You did have loads of chances. I agree, but. You got to, t- you know, that's why you know De Gea is still a Manchester United player. He's he's in our team to to make those sort of saves. Yeah. And let's not forget, he gifted him a goal as well. Yeah, yeah. Which is very, very uncharacter uncharacteristic of him. Yeah. It is. Oh, God, yeah. It's the first time I've been like nervous about a game in ages. Mm. 
Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I honestly never expected this in the second half. But United not really attacking at the moment. I think we're set up to do what we know we're going to do in it, which is yeah. uh, try and find uh, a Fellaini moment. Oh, I tell you what, it's nice. It's nice to be. Uh, it's nice to feel like this. I've got to say, um, the bigger picture. Fuck, you know, God, I'm. You know, even if we win it, I'm still Mourinho out. But I, I will enjoy the night and and not talk about that if we can win it. Performance wise, I don't think either side's played brilliantly. I just think it's been a game of football, and um, go on, Delo. Whip it, whip it. You've got yeah, the cross. Yeah. He's not He's not had many good crosses tonight, you know. He's had good opportunities to put that cross in and he's not done it yet. Funny enough, that's one of the best crosses of the game and it's from uh, old Marouane. <laughs> uh, just over 10 minutes to go. Going to be a tense 10 minutes. Well, this is good for us because uh, Lacazette has just... Uh, collided with Matic but because it'll be a free kick to us I think we can chip this into the back post and uh, old Marouane might get his head well, on it yeah this is where he comes in use isn't it yeah but at least Mourinho's done what we all want him to do with Marouane yeah oh, no, last 10-15 minutes ball? he's doing a drop ball oh no that's not a free kick which is a shame I, I, to be honest with you, I think if we lost it in the last 10 minutes, they wouldn't sack him anyway, would they? They'd say, we've seen enough positive sprouts. <laughs> I would actually like to believe that if we do lose it, that there is a chance nah. that he could go. Nah. Um, you know, it's highly unlikely, but you would think with the run of results that we've had, I mean, even if we draw this last three games, you know, nine points available, we've took three. It's still not good enough. Wolves are beating Chelsea 2-1, which means we can't be anything more than eight points off fourth tonight. But Delo's got it. Can he whip across in? Nice bit of skill. Dinky dinky. Fellaini. No. Uh, oh, a little bit lucky Arsenal there. So we've got to be careful on break. See, I don't like this. Matic, forever magnetic, magnetic to our centre-backs. You don't need yeah. that. that. That player is just not needed. If you are watching the game tonight, watch Matic. He never leaves the back two centre-backs. And it was the same against Palace. You just imagine if he wasn't there and that player was further up the pitch. You don't need it. You don't need that player. It's overly cautious. I'm going to mention that. Mm. Yeah, you can't afford to sacrifice one of them. Yeah. I mean, what's he made? Has he made all three changes now? Yeah. Yeah. So we've had Pogba come on, yeah. Lukaku and Fellaini, haven't we? Well, yeah. The, th the three tallest men we've got on our side. <sighs> but it's still quite slow from United. There's not really an awful lot of urgency to, to the play. Well, Nathan Brown says he's murdered the game with his subs. He's definitely slowed it down with them. But... I don't think that was a foul by Fellaini, to be fair. Well, to be fair, one of them, Martial, had to be made, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, hopefully, you know, we can muster up another good opportunity for ourselves to... Um, get the three points from this game. Well, hopefully we can get that chance, that our chance, because Arsenal had the Aubameyang chance, didn't they? And we, we take it. Yeah. Oh, see, oh, I see Arsenal a bit. I think if Arsenal have been terrible. I really do. I think their passing has been much worse than ours. 
Yeah, they, they, maybe that Spurs game, you know, the derby did take a lot out of them. Um, you know, like like we said earlier, maybe the extra day's rest has benefited us. Mm. Matic again, too too That's long on the too, ball. Yeah. yeah, he's done that quite a few times tonight. We should be going all out to win this because Arsenal look like they're tiring. You just don't see it though. You just don't see the urgency from the team to you know to hunt. We've, all, we've hardly seen Pogba in this game, oh. have we? Oh. He's having a bit of the ball now. See that's that pass is not required. It's 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 too much. I didn't want to draw. <laughs> Probably the worst thing that United could have hoped. Uh, it's, it's a, with Chelsea losing as well, it just maintains it at eight points. Well, they're not certainly not moving the ball around quick enough for me. You know, knowing that. They can win the game. <laughs> That'll be tense. Coming up to the last five minutes. Come on, Marcus Rashford, says Gungshi. Fellaini, 90 minutes, said Odin. Zeal misses Sanchez. Ooh. Do you think he would have made a difference in this one? Alexi Sanchez. Yeah. Probably not. Mm. Uh, Isaac, how long left? Just over five minutes, mate. Gotta be honest, like you said earlier, Mike, I've not seen Popper involved in anything so far. Not really changed the game how I would have thought. No. See, so Rio's just, you know, he's out on the tax line, and I think he's just telling him tell to lump it up there. Exciting, exciting last few minutes. He uh, certainly sounds like it. Yeah. Uh, Callum says we're going to draw. Uh, John Powell says Aubameyang will score. This is the danger, isn't it? I mean, he's had a good chance, the great save from De Gea. Mkhitaryan had that chance at the front post. I mean, Arsenal certainly had the better chances in the second half. But yeah, again, an, another draw. Just poor. I just, I just don't think a draw is good enough. It's not, definitely not. But it, it's how, it's how, it's how you look at the game, isn't it? It's how, how you look at the game, and it's hard. It's hard because both our goals really have been a little bit fortuitous. Yeah, you'd have to say coming from behind twice. The draw is a, is a good result. Yeah, I mean, that second goal oh. is just poor. You know, Arsenal will be pissed off, especially with the Aubameyang miss. I mean, that that's probably the move yeah, of the yeah. game. And the Mkhitaryan miss. Um, but, I don't know, we're starting to approach that time now where, where, where fans are going to have to think about, you know, is it a good result or is it a bad result? Because we've we've you know for all these substitutions, I, I must admit they have taken the 
the sting out of the game, haven't they? We've yeah. not really done anything with them. I mean, you know, all it's done is shorn things up a bit, really. Fellaini's not been the player to get in the box. Yeah. Well, surprisingly enough, we've only lumped the ball up a couple of times. You know, we've only gone long ball a couple I, of times. I think, I, to me, I'm, I, th- th- this is exactly what I feared. It's a manager who knows he's not getting the sack. And mm. I, I think he's... Um, I think he's um I think he's looked at this and thought, you know, I'm not getting the sack and I'm just gonna try and not lose the game. Yeah. Which is a shame. It is a shame because you know, we've got to close the gap on the top four. Yeah, we should oh, be going oh. out to win this. Yeah. The draw is just not not good enough and I haven't seen enough effort from United in this last ten minutes. No, I've, I've seen nothing from Lukaku, nothing from Pogba since they've come on. Um, and like you said there, if, any, if anything, it's hindered us, our gameplay. They have been, those two, since they come on, have been more like a hindrance to us. Offside against mm. Arsenal there. That's what's happening here with United. Hanging on. Oh, yeah, you can't do that anymore. Uh, Sam, the man, says, who's the home team? Yeah. Well, to be fair, I think Arsenal have um, have, tr- have tried to win it. Um Yeah. I, th- I think I think they have tried to win it and they've, they've had the best chance to win it. I mean, that's the disappointment thing for me is that Aubameyang, what a save by David De Gea. Straight after that, Mkhitaryan, it would have been a good finish, but it, it, it could have it could have been. Um, where's our big chance at home? You know, where where's our sort of effort to try and win the game? It's just it's not been there, and and that's that's the disappointing thing. It's just not not been there. Yeah, there's the effort to go and win the game has been non-existent. I mean, Arsenal took like oh, took what a save to Hayer again! Right side, yeah. And the Qatarians offside. Fucking hell! They've definitely been the better team. I'm sorry. This this last twenty minutes, they've shown far more to try and win it. What, what's going on? It's offside. Bloody hell! Um, I just, just, it's just ridiculous. The the lack of effort from United in this last twenty minutes. I think sack him now. I don't know what anybody else thinks, but terrible. You know, with the home team. Yeah, absolutely terrible. What a finish by Mkhitaryan that was, though. Mm. I mean, he's he is offside, but I mean, maybe we can win it. We've won it late before. <laughs> I, I think Arsenal fans will just. Will have definitely have that feeling. Yeah, I think Arsenal fans will probably say they they probably deserve the winning game. Okay, they, they had the better, much better opportunities. Um, but for the higher, we're hanging on to a point. Well, I remember we've got the call in um, afterwards as well. I mean, it's not over yet. So we have four minutes added on. Uh, got about just over two, two and a half left. What Torreira's doing there, he gets fouled by his own goalkeeper. Oh, I think that's um I think that's it now, I think. It's just very disappointing because I personally thought, you know, as a one-off game, I thought we might win it. Um, I think Arsenal were there to beat. I've not been that impressed with them. And then we've sat back for the draw and we need the win. You know, we need the win. Yeah. Not enough fighting in the last 20 minutes. 
from United to. Uh, there's there's not been again. any there's not been any um, effort in how we've set ourselves up to go and win this game. So to be honest, I've got no renewed effort to start thinking this manager's anything but bad for us, and I've, I've felt that for a very long time now. I mean, some of the defending as well in in the second half, especially in the last five ten minutes, has been poor. It just seems like everyone is back to the wall now. I mean, and you see even Mourinho on the touch, touch line just saying to him, sit back. <laughs> Man of the match, Marcus. Mate, I don't think you could look past a hair. I really don't. Um, fantastic saves. All right. He was a fault for the first one, but um, he's kept us... He's kept us in the game, I think, in the, mm. in the last 15 minutes. I mean, your Bamiyang save, I mean, couple from Lacazette, he saved as well. Um, and, you know, just recently, you know, a minute or two ago, I think to hear for me is the reason why we got away with this one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, I'll talk about it in the match reaction. The link's in the video description for that. We're also going to be doing the call-in as well straight after my match reaction. So there's lots and lots for you all to talk about. Um, but I'm disappointed in United there. I'm disappointed in United. I think that yeah. there was an opportunity in the last few minutes to try and, you know, go for it. And we really haven't. We really haven't. Unless we're going to produce something now. And it's just... You know, it's long ball again. Oof, oof, oof. I think we had to hire in the last 10, 15 minutes. Quite easily a loss this. Quite easily. It's a moral... I mean, Mourinho's moaning there because he can't hoof the ball into the box. I mean, piss mm. off. Just get out. Yeah. Seriously, get out of my fucking club. He did that a couple of minutes ago, Mark, 20, on the touchline. 20 minutes you've had to try and win this game of football. And all you've got is bloody hoof ball. I'm, I'm just not... Not having it. I'm not convinced by it. I'm not... It's just a bloody disgrace. We scammed a draw because yeah. Arsenal went to sleep after their second goal. They, Even though we scammed a draw, we took no momentum from that 2-2 goal. And for the last 20 minutes, Arsenal have been the better team trying to win it at Old Trafford. Yeah. Thanks for joining me anyway, Marcus. Always, mate. Always a pleasure. That's fine. Three draws. It's poor. I mean, you know, Palace, Southampton... I mean, if we'd have won those games, you could probably say a draw tonight would have been a good result. You know, seven points from nine. Um, but when you've got three, three points from nine, that's, that's bad. That is bad. There's, just, there's no effort or intensity from these players to kill the game off, even to go in search of a winner, you know, just to even try. It's um, very poor. Bit of, bit of a... I've got to be honest, a bit of a shit end to the game, mate, to be honest. Yeah, but now, with, with like, literally no time left, well, there's a bit of intens intensity. Yeah. Too little, too late. And that's the draw. <laughs> and then Rashford slamming the ball down, when for 20 minutes yeah. we've done sod all. Absolutely nothing, Absolutely yeah. sod all. I mean, you, 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 just, I, I, it just defies belief that United players can slam the ball on the floor, like, you know, like you've put a shift in. It's just shit. Absolute shit. I'm, I'm embarrassed. I mean, we're on 23 points now. Arsenal 31, Chelsea 31. So we're eight points off fourth. Um, well, eight points off fifth still. I mean, you've got to say as well, did, did the substitutions influence the game? No. No, they were terrible. We lost total momentum, didn't we? Yeah, very uninspiring subs. I mean, you know, I, you know Mata could have come on, I suppose. You know, he could have added something different. Lukaku was invisible. Pogba was invisible. Um, and I think since them changes, it was literally backs to the wall all the time, just hanging on for a point. And Mourinho saying at the end there, just lump it forward, is 
well, I mean, it says it all, doesn't it, really? Well, thanks for coming on, mate. I'm going to do my match reaction. The link yep. is in the video description for that. Uh, get over there. I'll be live literally with you in 30 seconds because I'm always very quick with my match reactions. Um, and um, we've got Flex doing fan cams. Interested to see what the fans at the ground think. And we'll have the Arsenal fan TV boys as well. What will they think? I think they'll be gutted. I think we got away with it. But thanks for coming on, pal. No worries, mate. Always a pleasure. Thanks for everyone in the comments and have a good night. Cheers, mate. Uh, no worries. I can't uh, close that. Yes, I can. Right, I will be live on my match reaction, and I'm going to give it. It's still it's Sack Mourinho now, far as I'm concerned. Join me. Link in the video description, or go through the homepage. I'll see you in 30 seconds' time.